How long do we? Land ho! Yeah! Uh, <laughs> hello! <laughs> oh, hooray! Hey! Hi! Hi, everybody! Hi, friends! Welcome to Lady, Lady Blackbird. Blackbird. We practiced. Yay. That's good. Totally practiced. <laughs> oh my goodness. How are y'all doing? Good. How about you? Good. Good, good. Unexpected. <laughs> Very excited <laughs> to see what tonight's adventure brings. Scott and Liz are a bit quiet for us, for you folks. Up a notch, please. Yep, yep. Uh, we a task. Whoop, whoop. Test, 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 you test. <laughs> test it. <laughs> Times. <laughs> no. You do it on purpose. Yes, I do. You don't get enough chance to say testies Sweet. on a day-to-day -day basis. Thank you. <clears throat> Do the do classic, do. actually, the classic Liz move is if we're all doing a test recording and we all say something, Liz says the least amount possible. Yeah. <laughs> What's because you always go last? I'm always very cognizant of like I feel embarrassed that it's been going on for so long, and so I'm like, <laughs> oh, I better wrap it up. Oh. <laughs> Story of my life. You must really hate every time I talk. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I just. Uh, hey, hey, but you know what? takes exactly the right amount of time to say hi to she who knows oh! 10,000 things yeah. and and entropy's disciple and, and our shout newest out yeah to mod. real brick whoa uh, <laughs> are we like spanking somebody no we're bop, like bop, bop, we're bop, bop, hitting bop, bop. the wall so i guess jesus not that. That's very aggressive. Oh my god, no. Um I must know about uh, know more about your hair, John myself. I should have made that a line. <laughs> just Darn. don't talk about my hair. Figure <laughs> <laughs> it himself. I just have to know more. <laughs> that is oi oi oi. Mm -hmm. Tonight we will be playing a one shot of Lady Blackbird. Uh, this is a game uh, that was created by John Harper. Mm -hmm. uh, and it is a very easy to learn system uh, that is available online. Actually, if somebody's able to throw the link up in the chat, that would be great. Otherwise, I will find it. Um, it's a really cool little system. The setting is fantastic and we're going to see how it runs as a one shot. I will be running With it. This group of people, no. And this yet. fine group of people will be playing it. Can you turn on the here volume? Ooh. Thank you. Yep. I mean, it feels it feels weird to be going like straight into the the all the, the talks and the housekeeping and everything. Well, we could talk about Is there anything else I need to say? Yeah, well there's the classic. It's uh, it's snowing. It snowed it in Montreal today. I feel a little bit responsible. Uh, yesterday, I was sitting, looking out my window wistfully, as I do, uh, and I was just like, oh, there's nothing, there's no snow on the ground. Like, that's sad. I sure wish there was a bit of fluffy snow for the holidays. And then today, it was like, <laughs> so it's yeah. nice. It's, it's nice out. It's quite, um, it's not like a snow drift blizzard or whatever, but like, it's quite, yeah, it is, it is nice. It Lara. was Scott, yeah. Yeah, he well, did. he was fulfilling all kinds of wishes yesterday. He found a strange... You want to tell? No, no. I Well, I didn't want to interrupt. I just, like, that was so weird. I, <laughs> I came... I turned the corner to go down the stairs to leave our building, and there's a little ledge with a mirror at the, on the ground floor, and on it, someone had left a bust. Uh, it was a, a man's head and torso. I mean, it's a bust. It did you look know. a lot like Lenin. It's about this Eric big. Maybe a bit bigger. Um... And it was just sitting there. There's no plaque. There's no inscription. I don't know who it is. It's really strange. Anyway, so I, I took a photo and I sent it to some friends. Kate, <laughs> if I may, out you, Kate. Wrote back immediately, please center this. Yeah, it was like not quite centered. Like, oh. And there's like a pillar on the table that's like very clearly centered. And it was like yeah. off. It's like way, yeah. Gut reaction. So I, I ended up centering it, putting some shades on it. I masked him. It's very important in this uh, climate. Um, 
And we uh, we pleased people in that regard. We sure did. We had a good time. Hey, Scott. Yes? A fabulous coat. Where'd you get it? Your closet. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Liz. <laughs> Weirdly enough, I can wear some of Liz's clothes. I mean, it's a bit short. Wait, well, how are I've, they short on my arms? I've been stealing some of your clothes. Most of my coats, the arms are too short. That is true. That's just a fact of life for me. Who is that good-looking chap with the whiskey Let's be fair, hair. though, Liz. Of the clothing that you've stolen, a lot of the clothing that you've stolen worn on stream is actually mine. Okay, but we need to specify this. Oh. I did not steal it. It was given to me. In fact, you gave me a garbage bag of your clothes and said, take whatever you want. Get I'm that. begging take you. Get out of here. <laughs> I, I prefer the version of the story where you abscond well, with my shirts. into your apartment and stole your clothes. In fact, yeah, isn't that John a Batman into shirt? The Probably. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Because, you know, it's very steampunk. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, okay. He no, has no, all kinds fine. of he's a gizmos punk. and gadgets. <laughs> Shit, Ganon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Loot is loot. It's true. Mm, 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 mm. Yar. And this is going to be one of the last streams before there's a little bit of a holiday oh. break. C'est vrai. C'est vrai. Yeah, I'm hoping to stream this week, although my usual time slot is impinged upon, so it might have to be earlier or whatever. Um, but yeah, we're coming up to, you know, the holidays uh, where we'll be taking a break. I guess specifically we should mention, as most of you know, but there will be no RPG Clinic stream next Sunday at 6 p.m. Sad, sad. But then it's the new year, so like... New game, whatever. new year. Third on third. Yeah. <laughs> Oscar is very fond of saying. And what are we playing next? I thought you knew. Exalt oh, Witch Academy. <laughs> An exalted third oh. edition campaign where we are all dragon blooded students at the House mm -hmm. of Bells. Yeah. If you're not already a member of the Discord, mm -hmm. uh, head on over there because because that Exalt Switch Academy channel is bumping. Let me tell you, it's out yeah. of control. All of our character creation sessions oh are live on the YouTube channel, and you can also check out our character sheets, which are pinned on Discord. Yes. Ooh, very A little stuff. je ne sais quoi. Uh -huh. But on to the matter at hand. The name of the game is Lady Blackbird. Y'all are PCs. I am the... I just like the word facilitator, so I'm going to call myself a facilitator oh, shit. again. Put it on your card, Liz. We have well, speaking of cards, we have a little it. system in place to keep us safe and to keep the fun level at the maxi max. This green card means that you are enthusiastically consenting to whatever your character is uh, experiencing in game even if they do not appear to be. A yellow card means we need to pause because I need to make the table aware of something. Uh, it doesn't mean that the game has to fully stop, but everyone take a second. There's something you need to know. Red card, we are stopping the game and no explanations need to be given. Uh, we often will go to a be right back screen while we discuss internally and we will only resume the game when the person who pulled the red card uh, says that it's okay. Viewers, you do not have cards, but you do have options. You have two fantastic tools by the name of Erguin and Crosshair and also Real Brick Wall when, when he's in the chat. You can always message them uh, and they will pass along uh, feedback anonymously if you wish to us. You can also message John uh, through messaging RPG Clinic. Um, and also, if need be, you can leave the stream. We'd be sad to see you go, but it's really important that you prioritize your safety for maximum enjoyment as much as we need to. So thank you very much for that. Steamy tool. Steamy tool. tool. We appreciate you. <laughs> Steamy tool and punky tool. Do y'all have any questions? for me before we get started. Um, I think so. We're kind of going to introduce, I guess, like the system as we go, I yeah. guess, and, and things like that. Yeah, so, so a lot about the the system, the characters, 
and what everybody's goals are are going to be revealed in game so we can um, utilize the limited amount of time we have oh. to the max things to the max today uh so if there are no questions then we will just get started <coughs> welcome to lady blackbird oh. by john Harper. the star at the center of the wild blue is breathing it pulses with a strange energy many believe gives sorcerers their power. The imperial worlds within Wild Blue are breathing, expanding their empire, conquering worlds, quashing rebellions, criminals, and pirates, maintaining their order. Across the system, the free worlds are breathing out of the empire's reach now. Beyond, the mysterious maelstrom known as the Remnants hides the secret fortress of a pirate king, so they say. But we're not at the Remnants. Not yet. The Owl, a smuggling ship, has been captured and tethered by an Imperial cruiser and its crew locked in the brig. The Imperial soldiers are searching the vessel for contraband. In the darkness, while they wait, the Owl's crew and its mysterious passenger are breathing. Hmm. Hmm. So, there are a number of you currently locked in the brig. Now, you've basically been locked in a room, but you're not restrained in any way because they're not quite sure if you are criminals yet. They're still trying to figure that out. However, the door to the brig is barred with heavy iron locks and your weapons have been very politely taken from you. Oh, very, very polite. Very polite. Okay, good, good. <laughs> Sorry to bother you about it again, John, but you drop the volume slowly. Yes. pacing along the length of the bars back and forth is someone wearing rather official looking clothing despite not being a member of the Imperial forces. Tidy plaited hair, a penchant for snapping out quick orders. Cyrus Vance is currently stuck at least temporarily. He is trying to come together with a plan for their escape. Do we let them... Do we let them find whatever and let us go before they look into us. A woman seated on one of the two benches available in the brig, just wearing a black overcoat um, and otherwise quite pale underneath, just looks up. Well, is there anything for them to find? Nothing terribly interesting. It's just enough. There's a, there's a, there's a young man sitting uh, on sort of like opposite to the, the woman who springs up from his chair. He's got like a leather flight jacket on and very short hair kind of spiked like a porcupine. Um, he's got a bit of a wild look in his eye uh, as he kind of snarls. <laughs> A little bit at his captain. Um, captain, if they find anything on this ship, then my name isn't Kale Arkham. It's hidden, and it's hidden good. Trust me. Then reveal it. Let's give them something, a prize for them to win. <sighs> Have them find something, give them a suitable bribe, and we can be on our way. 
So this isn't your first time, then? I'm not certain that I appreciate the insinuation. And at that, uh, the sound of cracking knuckles oh. <laughs> uh, can be heard immediately to the woman in the overcoat's right, uh, and the hulking figure uh, stands up beside her, cropped uh, hair, enormous uh, muscles, and stares menacingly at Kale. This is Naomi Bishop. You want to say that again? I, I don't think I do, no. Watch your tone when you're talking to her. It's not, uh... <laughs> Captain, who is this fancy traveler that we took on anyway? It's not everyone who goes around with bodyguards. <clears throat> the less you know, the better. Yeah, it's always the way, isn't it? <laughs> so we're agreed then? Tell them where the... The, um, aft compartment is in the hold. I think there's only a few things hidden in there, just a few... Just enough. Just enough. How long exactly. have we been waiting in the brig? Uh, you have been waiting about 15 minutes. It should take them about 30 minutes to fully search the ship. How confident are you that they're not going to find what you've hidden? I trust my crew. Then we need Kale to make it seem as if we're desperate, but that we've been agonizing over the decision. We need to foolishly let it slip. What so that foolishly? they think they think that we've we're trying to be coy. Think that we're trying to verify where they've searched and that they haven't found it give them just enough of a clue to make them think that they've found us and that that's why we're all sweating. The only reason we're sweating. Before they start looking up our names. You don't think they'll look up your names when they find out you've been smuggling contraband? That's why we need to offer it to them. Don't have them discover it. Have it be that we have decided that before they discover our criminal nature that we are appealing to their sense of mercy or greed it's greed right we're appealing to their sense of greed <laughs> they certainly lack mercy yes yes see if we can convince them that uh, they can write down that they didn't find anything or even not enter this encounter into the books simply land in port with a little bit of extra benefit something to weigh down their pocket and lighten their hearts right well I would I would hate for anyone to have to do the talking but you captain but I'm happy to offer my services if you'd like me to uh, do my best to convince them <laughs> What? I would not trace, trust our faith in your hands. I would. Passenger, I would. Captain? You're the boss, Captain. Kill, okay, you know where it is. You know how it's hidden. You know the perfect oh. trick to open the huh. compartment. All right. We'll offer them a deal. See if they take the bait. Make it seem like an act of, and I look to the lady with the hair, with the, with the hair, <laughs> the lady with the dark hair, like an act of. Contrition. Mm, yeah, I like that. All right, um, I'm gonna, uh, I, I'm gonna produce a small bit of metal from my pocket. It's just like a nondescript, like, I don't know, maybe an Allen key or something. Okay. <laughs> and I'm just going to go clink, 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 on the bars to get their attention. And I'm going to tuck it away again. You keep that racket down and big, heavy footsteps 
thunder over to the door. I'm so scared. Actually, I am really scared. Cyrus Big heavy sinks slightly into the shadows and turns mostly away from the, like three quarters away from the side of the... Now, is there a reason why you're doing this, Cy Cyrus? Um, Cyrus does not want to be recognized by certain Imperial... Though certain folks with Imperial alliances having been exiled by the Empire. Ah, that's, this is awkward because you are on an Imperial cruiser. <laughs> oh. So this could mean potentially that anybody <laughs> could recognize you? Perhaps it's a big... not anybody. You know, they... they let lose a lot of soldiers and have to replace them in, in in a year. Yeah, you were, but you were a pretty big deal, though, weren't you? Uh, <laughs> fair enough. This this thunderous uh, voice outside say, "What do you want?" I have to inform someone. We would like to offer a deal. I think. Your captain will find it a very good trade. Uh, he starts laughing uh, hysterically. <laughs> what makes you think you're in a position to bargain? <laughs> you're locked up. <laughs> <Wait. laughs> I start laughing too. Sorry, folks. Look, um, your volume is down just a tad. Uh, you are peaking. Just, just a hair. Yep, I will yep. reduce the music. Volume All right. To, to Ooh, counter. That's still too loud for me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, 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 look. I know it's funny. We're in here. You think we're trying to get away or something, but it's not like well, that. I wasn't thinking you were trying to get away, and then you said you wasn't trying to get away, and now I think maybe you are trying that, to get that away. That would be a tactic for the common thug or the common smuggler. We are a class of gentle people on this ship, sir. <laughs> now, if you would be so kind as to get your captain, I'm sure they would reward you handsomely for discovering some of the treasure hidden on board. All right, I let it is, hang in the air. Uh, this is definitely sounding like some kind of persuade check. You're trying to entice the guard. Yeah. Doing a socialized yeah. action of some kind. Um, I am. I'm trying to exactly. I'm trying to tempt. I'm trying to tempt the guard into. Well, I'm trying to convince the guard that this is a good idea. Mm -hmm. Um, plus side, he probably have to leave his post. Just saying. Yeah. Um, I'm uh tricky. <laughs> You are tricky. Uh, <laughs> but I think this, this, tricky? this trickiness uh, more so applies to physical, <clears throat> not social. Okay, well, as far as traits go, then I actually <laughs> don't think I have a good trait. For okay, this are you? I'm gonna I'm gonna stand up and I'm going <gasps> to cuff Kale on the back of the head. <laughs> I clonk into the bars. <laughs> oh, cow! Sit down before you embarrass us all. I am uh, suitably impressed by this uh, dark, raven-haired woman's um, status, and I I sit down. You. Yeah. And I'm pointing at the the guard. Uh, 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 yes, yes, ma'am. And he kind of like sits, stands up a little bit straighter. Some of my belongings have been secreted into a hold because I didn't want them taken by pirates. I will be honest with you. There are some of these belongings that are not exactly appropriate for me to be traveling with. In exchange for showing them to you so that you may understand that we have nothing to hide. And I'm going to let that linger for a second. I'm certain that this will clear up any sort of misunderstanding that this ship has been on and will be on our way. Well, uh, you, 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 you certainly, um, <clears throat> you certainly speak, uh, like someone who, um, I, I knows what she's, uh, and he gets very tongue-tied, uh, looking, looking at this very striking figure before him. I think this is going to be a charm roll, John? Charm or cunning? Ooh. Up to you. What do you think? Uh, 
this seems to me like a like a deception. Okay. Very so, well. Uh, Very well. How, is it any number of tags, or is it just one tag that I can? Any number. Mm-hmm. Any number, but you would have to justify each it. one, right? Yeah, you'd have to justify it. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we start with a pool of one. Anytime you roll, you start with a pool of one, and then you add one if you have an applicable trait. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to say that this will be charm. Okay, I'm going to say perfect. that I'm using presence and command. Very yeah. well. Yeah, that's great. Let's do more. Uh, do I get to know the difficulty? Yes. The difficulty for this, because this guard is not very bright, is going to be three. Whoa. Damn. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's that's spicy. Uh, yes. <laughs> three. Yeah. Remember, you have your personal pool. Yeah. And it is intended... Uh, they, for spending. And you only have to roll four, yes. five, or six, right? So you've got a 50% chance on each die. Yeah, but that means that I have to have at least six dice to have a 50% chance of that's success. True. That's true. And that's a yeah. 50% chance of success. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll blow all my dice at this point. Oh! Oh my oh, goodness! What? <laughs> I, I'm not sure about all of them. Well, let's go. Three is a pretty heavy difficulty I for mean, this. That's just difficult. It's you could also have somebody help you. Uh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh. No, no. I just I, I, don't. I mean, like, is has um, Kale's beginning helped out at all? It's a good question. Uh, it did make this. Uh, it did make Natasha seem more authoritative. So you may, Scott, yep. give John one die from your personal pool if you. Yeah, like. by playing like I was subservient to Natasha mm-hmm. or to this person whose name I don't know. Sorry, yeah. uh, John. I'm going to give you one of my personal pool dice. Okay. Uh, I'm using three of my pool, so cool. I'm rolling a total of eight. Nice. nice. Let's go. And it turns out that was the magic number. I got three. So we succeed. Actually wild. Perfect. So now I just need to remind myself. So Scott, your uh, personal pool die is now out of commission. Um, And John, the personal uh, personal dice that you used are also considered discarded. Yep. Until you get them back. (laughs) Thank you for coming to our dice educational seminar. The the guard immediately uh, averts his eyes. Ah. Of course, uh, 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 right away, ma'am. Um, uh, would you, uh, uh, would you just wait right here and, um, uh, uh, you're going to need to some... bring him with you. And I chuck my head towards Kale. Him? He's the one who knows where it's been hidden. Do you think that I hide my own belongings? No, no, of course, of course, of course not. <laughs> She would never hide her own belongings. You're, you're, you're clearly, uh, you're clearly a woman of fine quality. <laughs> now, uh, I he, will he kind of continue to wait here. Closer. I will continue to wait here in this prison while you sort this out quickly. He does an awkward little bow and uh, fumbles into his pocket for the key, uh, unlocks the brig. Now, if, if you guys just want to straight up overpower him now that the door is open, it's up to you. But I'm going to sit yeah. my ass back down. I'm going to watch where he keeps the key. And worst case, when he brings brings this guy back, we can deal with it. So. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so I will, I'll just show that I have nothing in my hands. And I'll step out. I'll keep them up What here. about that little piece of silver or it's in my metal pocket. that you're holding? Fair enough. Okay. I have okay. uh, many hidden pockets in this jacket. Great. Uh, they're full of all sorts of unmentionable things. Unmentionable because, yeah, they're not mentioned yet. Um, what? Uh, Fair enough. I will go along with this guard for now. All right. He, uh, he pulls you out, closes the door, <laughs> locks it again, and replaces the key into his pocket. Is the key on a key ring of any kind, or is it just like... There are three keys on this key ring in his eh? pocket. Okay. Are yeah. they all the same? Do they all look the same? You didn't... I don't know. Did you get a good look at them? I think I did. 
Did I, you get a good look, look at as, that? As, uh, as someone who has a whole... Look, before I became the first mate of the owl, Ooh. I had a history. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Doodly doo. No, no, I, I'm not going to refresh. <laughs> I'm not going to refresh anything yet. For your one die. For my one die. <laughs> no, but I had a, um, a whole career as a thief, a burglar, okay. and I feel like with that experience, I'd be able to take notice of small details like this. Um, I am percept... Uh, yeah, so... I'd like to try to roll, if I may. Um, yes. My trait is burglar. Yeah. My tag is perceptive. Nice. I also have a pers- I also have a trait for locks, but that's that's not keys. So maybe I'll just keep no. that for later. No. Um, yeah, and I'll yeah. Actually, no. If you know locks, you would know keys. Makes sense. I will allow you to add another die there. Nice. So what's your pool looking like? Uh, it's looking like four right now. I'm gonna ask about the diff before I spend something for my person? Uh, this is just looking at keys as opposed to trying to convince him, so I'm gonna make it a diff too. Okay, so I will add one pool, from one from my Very well. personal pool. Here we go! Uh, you said four or higher, right? Correct. That is a fail. <laughs> so, so you have no idea. Damn it. You know one key goes Kale. to the break. God damn it. Okay, well, they're all in his pocket, so... <laughs> We'll be back. Uh, now, yes. because this is a this is a part of the mechanics of the game, I will allow you to roll again. Oh, if you want, but with an added complication or difficulty. I'm gonna be honest. Like, I, I wanna I wanna up the tension at some point, but like, I don't want things to get too spicy right now. My suggestion. Would so I'm gonna been, I'm gonna leave it. You can try really hard to look at them, but he will probably notice you. what <laughs> i'm gonna leave it for fair now enough. i'm gonna leave it for now fair enough thank you for thank you for that you're welcome uh so he he grabs you by the arm and marches hey, hey, hey. you away <sighs> leaving cyrus and mysterious woman and naomi and a uh, muttering goblin in the corner. I'm sorry? There's a muttering goblin? There is a muttering goblin chilling, named eh? Snargle. Snargle. He's just chilling. Thank you for your assistance in this matter. Because I'm dead. You forgot to think like an imperial. Trying to leave that life behind. That's a good way to find your life ending quickly um i have a question Mm -hmm. how much does cyrus know about who this woman is and what has she hired you to do i assume that cyrus is aware of basically everything okay okay So you've hired me to take you... I've hired you to find a pirate king. Yeah. Somewhere in the remnants. And deliver me there. I don't know if I necessarily would have told you that he's an ex-lover of mine. No, I don't know. Doesn't seem very useful. Or what you're running from. Oh, you definitely know that I'm running from an arranged marriage and that I I am slash was an imperial noble. Mm, Okay. I have nothing further to say at this time, so cool. I'm okay with the spotlight. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm very happy to sit on my butt. You're so we're going butt. to return to this guard trung- trundling along with Kale Arkham, mm-hmm. heading for the tethered owl airship. Where we have in theory, concealed some of this woman's possessions to mm-hmm. protect them from pirates. Yes. Which will allow us to, by revealing this information, it might allow us to get off scot-free, so to speak. I see a scot right there. Oh, very good, very good. Um, yeah, so hopefully what, what you're, it sounds like what you're wanting is that if you reveal that, yeah, we were carrying things that we shouldn't have been, but it's not that bad that they'll give you a slap on the wrist and let you go. Mm-hmm. Maybe give you a fine or something, but mm-hmm. then ultimately you'll be okay. Yeah. All right. The guard gestures magnanimously towards mm-hmm. the owl. Off to you. 
Thanks. I will. What are you all hoping to find, anyway? Any stolen goods oh. that could be brought to the criminal empire in the free worlds. That's kind of a smear. <laughs> Were we still originally arrested because of uh, suspicion of flying a false flag? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they're making sure that you're not smugglers, and you are very much smugglers. <laughs> and if they run your names through the registry, they smugglers. will find that Cyrus Vance, in fact, used to be a high-ranking Imperial officer and defected and is now one of the most notorious outcasts in the system. So running your name or finding out who you were would be bad. Do I have a sense of where that would be happening? The the running of the names? Uh, in the main command center. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's right. That makes sense to me. All right. Uh, it would be towards the um, it would be towards the the bow of the ship. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I definitely don't want to like undertake something as huge as trying to disrupt that from uh, on my own, mm -hmm. but I'm hoping to maybe delay them slightly. Okay. I have a plan. What would you like to do? Well, the plan starts like this. First Excellent. of all, I punch the, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, the, I'll, I'll look to the guard. Okay. I'm going to show you where the very kindly lady has stored some of her things. I don't know much about it, to be honest. She's, <laughs> uh, we're not, we don't have passengers all that much. It's a bit odd. Someone comes on board and tells you they just want to get from point A to point B. I don't ask questions. I know you get that. What was point I and what was point B? Um, Takes a little notebook out. Yeah. Getting I'm allowed to, to say that we were coming from one of the core world. What? I don't even remember the. So oh my God. <laughs> I don't have it written down. We were coming Jeez. from Elysium. I was believe. escaping from Elysium. Escaping yep. from Elysium. And headed. Yeah. We were about to stop off in Haven uh, before going into the remnants. Right. Okay. Well, so. the best, um, the best lie is the truth. So I'm just going to say Elysium to uh, to Haven. We were almost there too. Here, look. Why don't you come along? I'll show you what we got, and then you can take that information up to your captain. I will. Good. Then you've done your job, I've done mine, and everyone's happy. Just show me the goods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will. Make it snappy. I don't like that I left them alone. You left them alone? What? No. I, I didn't see any other guards. I just... I assumed there was a shift change. Just find the yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, okay. What I would like to do... Uh -huh. The Owl is a ship, so it's not like it just like a room or whatever. But yeah. what I'd like to do is... Um, in heading off to... The, okay, so what I'd like to do is this, mm -hmm. and we can make it multiple rolls if we need to or whatever. Okay. I want to stop off in the control room to open the passage to the aft. What I would like to do is send... Um, if I can, set off a small electromagnetic pulse from the owl Ooh. to knock out their communication system, however briefly. Oh. That's what I'd like to try to do. Okay. Very cool. I'd like to see if I can do that. I like it. So, yeah, essentially, I'll make my way to, um, like, the... I'll make my way to sort of the console, I guess, of yeah. our, of the owl. Now, what are you telling the guard that you're doing in this? Because you're clearly not heading towards the passenger bunks for mm -hmm. berths. I've picked up a thing or two along <laughs> in the last couple of years. Pirates board you, they immediately search the ship, tip to tail. Best way to hide something, make sure they can't get in. So, if I do this, and I'm going to flip two levers, okay. one of them is to generate a very small EMP, All right. which I don't know if that's going to go well or not, we'll see. <laughs> we'll the out. other is to open the aft, which will open a section, uh, which, which will not, but I will pretend that it opens a section of the uh, rear of the ship. It's actually just flushing the toilets. I was going to say, <laughs> it like, turns a little rudder. Okay, so yeah. we've, we've, we might have to do a couple of rolls here because you are trying to send off the pulse 
Yep. Ship's cat. To knock out their communications. Yep. How long are you hoping to knock them out for? I guess I, until they can be repaired? Basically. How I mean, strong is this pulse? Well, this is the thing. Like, it can't be that strong or else, no. like, they're immediately going to be like, we're under attack and yes. it came from right there. <laughs> like, it's going to be really obvious otherwise. Um, so it's not that it's not that big. Okay. Well, uh, in that case, let's start with that rule. So I would say that this is a mechanic. Yeah. As the mechanic and the first mate of the owl, I know well how it works. I know what its security countermeasures are. Mm -hmm. um, I also have a tag here for sabotage. You do. <laughs> Which I feel like would come in real handy. I would say so too. Um, so I'm going to go with that. Okay. What kind of a pool do you Listen, have? all y'all. Yeah. Mm? It's a sabotage. <laughs> sabotage. Yeah. I've got three okay. right now. So. Okay. I'm gonna make because this is a ship you're used to, but it, this isn't. This can't be like too easy of a roll. So I'm gonna make this a diff three. Okay, I'm gonna spend. I'm gonna spend three dice for my personal pool, and then there'll be okay. a way to refresh this at some point. Come on! Uh, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Oh, but it does work! Ooh! I got I got five uh, successes. So well done. I so lose you discard these. those personal pool dice. Oh, turn exactly. Those. Perfect. Perfectly. Uh, all right, so this this pulse is emitted from the owl. Um, it doesn't I mean, make a sound. You don't see anything. It doesn't make a sound, but you know that the pulse was in fact generated. Mm -hmm. uh, and the guard doesn't notice that you did this. Even better. <laughs> and then I will uh, I'll motion very grandly towards the aft of the ship. Mm -hmm. Now, I know you're used to the big Imperial cruisers. That yeah, have... it's a little cramped in here. Yeah, well, it's some people would call it cozy. Say so some people, the likes of you, <laughs> right at home here, right? Not all of us can have fancy jobs working for the Empire. We should be working Imperial... for the Imperials. They pay well. There's benefits in everything. Benefits? Yeah. What kind of benefits? Well, for every rebel scum head I bring in, I'll get a vacation day. Your vacation's tied to the number of people you capture. Oh yeah. What if you have a What if you have a slow day? Well, they don't take away. Well, they take away it. Find find this stuff. <laughs> so yes, I will. I will head to the back. Yeah. We, as per Captain Cyrus Vance, we have an aft like smuggling compartment, okay. which I will open. In there, there's no weapons. Um, there's a Wookie. There's a Wookie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, um, there's some goods. It's like mostly fabrics, um, and I kind of gesture towards them. Personal effects. Is this what she was hiding? Yeah. So she stole these silks. I wouldn't know anything about that. You'll have to ask her. Okay. Like she said, uh, they may not have been obtained. Well. I don't know, to be honest. But this is what you wanted to see. And you should probably report this back to your captain. Uh, he he gives <gasps> a little snort and gathers <gasps> up the silks. How dare he? <laughs> okay, fine. This... To uh, to bring to his captain. At this uh, point, I will just say that if Cyrus and uh, Mysterious Passenger have anything that they want to do before we return... <laughs> Sorry, that you said it's so suggestive. Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, Snargle's right there. <laughs> oh, we also have, yeah, there's two others in the room with us. Yeah. So, if this is enough and it appeases them and they send us our way, excellent. If not, are you ready to make a run for it? Can you run in those shoes? If that becomes necessary, we'll do what we have to. But don't plan for defeat just yet, Captain. Oh, it's not defeat. It won't be defeat. Just the easy path isn't always the one that works. Sometimes you have to get your hands dirty. I wouldn't know anything about that. Have to get used to it out here. It's not like the... Uh, Gentle, fluffy beds of Elysium. I think all of our fluffy bed days are behind us.
At least for now. You saw where we have to go from this? Yes. Then I'll follow. Naomi? Yeah. If indeed we can't trust in the good graces of Kale, all we have to do is make it back onto the Owl and ensure that we can slip Hausers and make our way out. I know where to turn off the lights. I will, if, should we have to run for it rather than trust in our, the greed of the residing captain, you folks run the way to the ship, I'll turn off the lights, cause some distraction. And when will you make the call, Captain? You'll know. <laughs> I suppose I will. Uh, at that, the heavy foot treads of the guard, uh, along with some footprints. Medium footprints? Uh, yeah, it's like a normal gait. No, normal gait. I wouldn't describe uh, it any other way. Everyday <laughs> normal <laughs> gait. The scampering footsteps. Pitter patter of little feet. Of tiny feet. <laughs> Return to the brig. Um, the guard is carrying a bunch of silk uh, that Lady Blackbird you would recognize. What is it? Sorry, you said I would recognize it. It's not actually mine. It's what they're smuggling. It's what we were smuggling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right. We never were... mind. So then, yeah. no. Forgive me, I didn't understand. I would recognize. All right, Cyrus, you recognize it as stolen silk. Mm -hmm. You stole it from Imperial Worlds. Oi. I know it's got uh, quite the value. That's why it was worth stealing. Um, <laughs> made from the rarest of silkworms and... Um, this particular weave is known only on one remote island, uh, so it's highly valuable, highly sought after by the, all the fanciest ladies at court. Good way <laughs> to perhaps win over someone that you've got your eye on. Now I'm um, absolutely ruined. That's all I had. Uh, I'm broke. Uh Oh, don't, don't, don't cry, Mum. Better without I'd, fun I'd, than I freedom. I do have to bring this to the commander. He's going to want to know if it's stolen. It's not uh, stolen. <sighs> At least I, I bought it. How was I supposed to know that somebody who sold it to me managed to steal it? You won't. You won't. But... It's still rules are rules, you know. I gotta bring this in. Well, I'll just be a moment. I managed to bring I, I myself up from nothing. I can do it again. No thanks to you. Ah, oh, he like kind of bows his head at that. It hurts that that. Uh, go to touch his shoulder. I feel mighty bad. It's not her fault. Shift changes in 10 minutes, I do believe. You won't want to have to hand your winnings off to someone else. No, no, I gotta get going. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be back and I'm sure the news will be good, Mum. I'm, I'm sure it'll be, it'll all turn out well for you. <laughs> and he um, uh, traipses off. Oh, wow. In the direction of the command. Uh, center. Did he like let me back in, or am I just like chilling outside? <laughs> no, he let or, like... you back in. Okay, sorry. Oh, <laughs> no, right. did he? I might okay. be on the other Pick side of the bar. the key, so fool. Right. Pickpocket the key on his way out. Like as he's watching, <laughs> just reach out of the bars and pluck it. I mean, I can try. I, I think you can. He's gonna be pretty mad if he. So finds he takes. It. He takes a little second before walking off to like wipe some tears. Uh, he fishes in his pockets for a handkerchief. Yeah, uh, I will. Uh, I'll reach into my pocket and pull mm. out a handkerchief. I'll reach out to him. Oh, nice. As I reach out, I'm going to reach into his and Great. grab the key. Love it. That's what I'd like to try to do. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to give right. him a die from my uh, performance to help him out. You didn't, you didn't mean all those things. <laughs> oh God. Do I look uh, like I started with nothing? 
I see. Started at the bottom, now you're there. <laughs> All right, I'm thinking burglar. Um, yeah. Uh, well, okay. Dexterous? Sorry, yes, yes. If I'm a burglar, you are. then I can be dexterous <laughs> and I can be sneaky. Uh, or quiet. Yes. Sorry, I could be quiet instead. You could be sneaky and quiet. Oh, yes. And I'll take a die from John, as per John. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I would also say this could be a key for you oh, if you want. For locks. Key of greed. You like oh. the shiny things. Oh, hit my key when I steal something cool. Yeah, okay. Key of key. You ah. know, you're so have key. I, have I, by the way, um, have I hit my key of the imposter? By successfully passing myself off as a commoner? No. Nobody <laughs> believes you're a commoner yet. Damn! Because you were you were speaking so imperiously. Not yet. <laughs> um so okay, by hitting one of my three keys, yes. I can either add a die to my pool or yep. immediately, or I can take an experience point which exactly. I can trade in for stuff later I yeah i swear what would you like to do i'm gonna take an experience point because okay. i feel somewhat confident on this role perfect what's my target your target is it was so masterful with the handkerchief and everything. it was oh, very masterful <laughs> i'm gonna say four okay Ugh. i'm gonna sp oh god i'm gonna spend the rest of my personal pool okay hey so maybe this triggers a flashback for you <laughs> <laughs> the last time you just <laughs> the Lady Kyoko I oh. no! Wow. Yes. Uh, well done. Thank you. It's a lot. That's uh, seven successes. Jesus Christ. Nice. All right. So of, John, uh, the die is discarded. Thank you. Uh, you got the, got the key. easily lift the key. The keys. Uh, all of them, eh? Yeah. That's a key ring. Unless, well, with that many successes, if you want to yeah. just take over one key, you can. He's so cool. I'm going to let you do it if I that's what you want. I don't know what the it's other keys It's more useful do. to have all the keys. It is, and hopefully he won't need them. Yeah. So I'm going to take all of them. Very well. Perfect. He, be uh, well, brother. Be I'll, well. I'll be back as soon as I can, hopefully armed with good news. Uh, I'm just going to start crying into the captain's shoulder. But, like, delicately, with, like, shaking shoulders. I feel mighty bad now. Uh, uh, drags his heavy feet down the corridor towards the command center where the captain would be. I'll turn, yeah, I'll turn my back on the door and I'll just like pull the keys out of my pocket. What do you think of that, Snargle? <laughs> I knew I liked you for a reason. <laughs> oh, cute. If you will. Yeah, yeah, of, of course, Captain. Thank you for entrusting me. I think I managed to buy us. Sorry, I'm giving you the keys while yep. I'm saying this. Um, uh, I'm I think I managed start to buy us. Them. Mm -hmm. I think I managed to buy us a few minutes, knocked out their communications. Uh, I don't think I've ever done sure anything I'm... ugly in my entire life. Yeah, never, never happened. Why do you think I'm fleeing my arranged marriage? <gasps> Ooh. Somewhere Count Carlo just like <laughs> sheds a single tear. It rolls down his bumpy Count nose Carlo and like has off left the, the jet. <laughs> Uh, so I'm just trying all the keys in the door. Perfect. One of the three opens the door. Excellent. I don't want to be rude, but if we're going to get out of here, I think I need to know at least a little bit about where we're headed. Right, Captain? We're headed directly to refuel on Haven, and then we're yeah. continuing to the outer reaches. The, the remnants... Uh, as agreed upon. I'm going to get our stuff. I know where they hold it. Uh, so I... I would like to slip down the corridor the way that the guard went, knowing my, n using my knowledge of Imperial warships 
to uh, know where they would hu like store all the stuff that they took off of us. Like Thanks for the raid. Hi, oh. Super Dylan. Super Hi, Dylan. Super Dylan. <laughs> Hello, welcome. All right, this will be a roll, Kate, and this is going to be uh, a two difficulty because you are very experienced. So I am an ex-imperial soldier. Yeah, I great. do know imperial warships. Thank you. Uh, I have the one to start. Mm -hmm. Does this count as scrounging? Scrounging. It's under uh, survivor. No, you have to choose which trait you're going under. Oh, it's only those tags? Yeah. Cool. That was Good what to know. I understood from okay. The, What's uh, the exact thing that you're attempting? I'm trying to just take our stuff. So I'm going to use a couple of extra dice. I'm going to use two black dice. Uh, I'm going to... No, gonna, no, no. I'll use the third if you... I'm going to sneak out and, and I'm going to help him. Just grab what I need. Okay. Actually, cool. no. I'm going to tell Naomi to get out there and... Yeah. Yeah. And help. Yeah. So that's so I'm still I'm still passing die. along a die, but I'm making Naomi do it. Cool. Oh, slow has the sickest. Notes. One, two successes. That's all I needed. Whew. Thank you for the bonus Whew. die. Well done. Uh, so yes, the the stuff that you're looking for is in the direction of the command center. Uh, it would probably be kept in the, um, for lack of a better word, armory on the on the ship. Yeah. Uh, which of course would be near the command center for easy access. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's just a little ways further down the corridor. I'm gonna make my way there sneakily. Are all of you going together, or is it just Cyrus and Naomi going? I think probably just the two of us for the sake <gasps> of simplicity. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I would actually order, I would, yeah, give my orders to Kale and Snargle with the lady to choose as she pleases. Stay put, keep the door closed so that they don't know it's unlocked. Play, play nice. If they come back and discover that the cage is unlocked, then we're done for anyway. Hurry up. Okay. Or lock us in. But no matter what, they'll see they'll that you're see gone. They'll see that we're missing. Just give them that moment of uncertainty. I know Kale can throw a punch. <laughs> Fingers bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> My God, really? Yeah, yeah. It's fine. All right. Keep All right. Down the so hall. you are uh, shimmying down the corridor. Uh, fortunately, you do not uh, pass any soldiers on your way, and it isn't far. Uh, when you get to the door, it is locked. Ding. All right, so I am going to make you roll. This is not to see if one of the keys open it, but it is to see if any uh, guards are going to happen upon you as you go. But we're going to use the same pool um, from okay. your knowledge of Imperial warships. Okay, so not using my sneak. Okay, uh, so that was... I still made Naomi go with you, so I'm giving you a die. Yep. Naomi's there. She's uh, she's keeping a lookout while you try the door. Uh, that is two successes if Excellent. I'm using the same pool. Yep, perfect. Yeah. So no soldiers uh, happen upon you. You are able to open the door and slip inside. Okay. I'm going to take back my twin pistols. Okay. Uh, I want my rapier. Shoot, you would have made oh, yeah. that. You uh, hear a, an insistent voice in your head saying, yeah. I want my rapier. Mm -hmm. Do it. I have my rap the rapier to Naomi, any other stuff that I recognize as ours, and just going to quickly... Naomi grabs her brass knuckles... Gonna quickly glance over and see if there's anything that looks particularly choice. Ooh. Uh, clearly the really fancy stuff is not kept here. That would be kept either in the captain's quarters uh, because it's for him or on his person. Uh, but you could grab some. Uh, you could grab some additional pistols. You could grab some muskets. Yeah. Some. I'm gonna uh, grab an extra pistol blue. and a few extra charges for the pistols. Nice. And then close the door, lock the door, ah. go back down the hall. <laughs> okay, now I am going to have you roll your sneak. Okay. Uh, because um, we're looking at quite a while before anybody's passing down this corridor. Yeah. 
So this would be under my smuggler because I've now stolen some things and I'm trying to sneak and yep. hide. Yeah. Okay. And this is a diff. This is a diff too. Okay. I'm gonna spin two black dice. Okay. I get many successes. I get one, two, three, four, four successes. Fantastic. You and Naomi. Uh, make it back to the brig without incident. And uh, do you let yourselves back in? I do. At least, like, and close the door without locking it just long enough to start handing out the weapons so that if someone happens to come down the hall, again, we still have that element of surprise. Perfect. Uh, I'll conceal it as best I can under my overcoat. Uh, Snargle happily takes uh, his flail. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> flail. And he's very small, so it uh, it really uh, it dwarfs him. No concealing that shit. No, no need to. You can just tuck the handle down the back of his pants. They won't see until he turns around. <laughs> I got something too big down there to be concealed by a flail. Says In the back of your pants, huh? <laughs> yeah, I haven't checked oh. your anatomy lately. Uh, Snargle, uh, Snargle fights with a flail. Oh, was that? Yeah, you all have your weapons back. Congratulations. That's nice. Did people return our weapons to us? Yeah, yes. Cyrus and Naomi went to the armory and picked up all your weapons. Thanks, guys. What uh, what kind of weapon does Kale have? Um, he's got uh, to go with his many pockets. He actually has a few small weapons. Like okay. uh, he's got a, so he's got a blackjack, um, like a small small club essentially. Okay. Um, he's got two revolvers. So they're like little little four shot revolvers. They're about this big, uh, but they're quite deadly in short range situations. Um, and he also has a dagger. He secretes all of them away in various pockets. Nice. So, Kale, mm. how many between us and the ship? Say that again? <laughs> how many between us and the owl? How many did you pass? Uh, that's a good question. I'm just going to say they all seem to be concentrated up at the front near the command, at least for now, until they figure out what we're on about. So... Uh, and as you say that... <laughs> Son of a... <laughs> Uh, you hear uh, a, a flurry of footsteps um, hurrying down the hall. They are heading uh, in the direction of the brig. Uh, are you all comfortable with your level of weapon uh, concealment? You have a bit of time. I'm okay. Yeah, I did what I could. You're in the, We're brig. in the brig. Yes, yes okay, I understand. Brig. Sorry. Have you locked the door and where are the keys? I have not locked the door. I'm keeping the keys. I'm going to put them in my pocket along with my right. revolvers are deep in my in my deep man jacket pockets. Man jacket pockets. enough pocket. to hold things. <laughs> okay. So the door is closed but not locked. Correct. Perfect. Uh the guard from before um, uh, strides down the hall, following a very, very tall, very thin man with uh, chin-length silver hair um, that is cut very bluntly, uh, and he has a pointy goatee. Um, Do I recognize and uh, they are followed by another five uh, Marines who hurry past the brig um, and head for some uh, some paneling and stuff that's on the that's on the walls. They're clearly checking the the power status of the ship. Uh, I'm going to immediately put myself back into crying into Captain Vance's shoulder, uh, but not before I remind Kale that if you can at all get the keys back onto that guard's person, then I would have given them back to Kale. Yeah, yeah, I nod. I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt a reverse pickpocket at some point. So that lets I... me keep my back to them, thanks okay. to the crying shoulder. All right, nice. So you're trying to conceal your identity. Mm -hmm. uh, Naomi also takes a step back. Mm -hmm. uh, Kale doesn't seem to care if they see him because the guard's already seen him. Yeah. 
Okay. I'm in the jail like he left me. Yeah. Nothing's changed. Absolutely. Absolutely nothing has changed. Absolutely. Uh, so the the commander strides uh, as if to go past the brig and then uh, and then stops and turns to the guard. So um, so this is the uh, this is the woman who you say accidentally bought stolen spice uh stolen silks spice. spices silks uh and then goes, oh they, that's right uh captain oh she I, I know she didn't mean it i feel like i know her and she would never have done that intentionally hmm, but what about her friends <gasps> i'm absolutely ruined <laughs> captain and i'm gonna look up Captain, please, just, I have no way of knowing that those silks were stolen. I, I, if you could just see it in your heart to return them so that we could get out of here. Mm, madam, I'm afraid I won't be able to do that, you see. These are stolen goods and must be returned to uh, the merchant on Elysium from whom they were taken. <sighs> um, and you will forgive my bluntness, madam, but I will also need to run your name through the registry just to be absolutely certain that your story checks out. But I'm no one. I'm just a merchant. No. I've never even been off world before. All right, so you are trying to convince uh, this captain that you are not noble. So I think that's a roll. Oh, well, okay. Uh, exactly. So that's cunning <laughs> uh, this deception. Is a key. This Sorry? is a key. Yeah. Yeah, but a key doesn't give you dice, does it? That just gives it you XP. Does. Yeah. With a key, you decide if you either want to uh, to take an XP, uh, or if you want to add a die to your pool. Ah. Sorry. Uh, -huh. uh okay. So, uh, deception, misdirection, okay. and disguise. Oh damn! Great. And you start with one. Uh, this is not going to be an easy roll because this guy is supposed to like be pretty smart. So I am going to make this a diff four. Okay. Uh, I've got eight dice to roll. Woohoo! Um, can I do anything to help? Not really. Back my story up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got no dice to yeah. give, unfortunately. She, I'm sorry to say. she really was so desperate to see the world. It's a shame that instead she's seeing this. Back it up, uh, okay. Captain. All right, you may, you may pass I, along I, and I've die. Uh, six successes. Excellent! Ooh. Although now I think all of us are out of dice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you're going to have to start refreshing. Mm -hmm. How do you Which, do that? Which, by the way, you can do at any time. Well, folks, a refresher scene, as written in the book, um, is basically a a character uh, a character exploration moment, uh, typically between two uh, PCs. However, I have home house ruled this to be more like good society, where you can do a little inner monologue of a flashback to an earlier moment in your PC's life. So this can be uh, an action that you take that reminds you of something from your past. Uh, it can be a dream. Um, it could be something else if you're choosing. And if you do that, you refresh your personal pool of dice. It's fun. Uh, I, I just rolled my shit. I don't... Do we yeah. want to resolve the results of that roll first? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll resolve the success. Resolve the results. Uh, Captain uh, Hollis looks uh, at you. He peers. He peers deeply at you, Madam. I am inclined to believe your story. Nevertheless, as soon as our communications are back online, we will have to check the other members of the crew. You do understand. Your communications are down. A minor snag. Officer, isn't what that a sign that? of pirate activity? Shouldn't you be on high alert? Are you telling me how to run my ship, sir? Simply following procedures. 
You speak as someone who has followed procedures before. What is your name? Oh, I look down and away. You should report to your superior officer, sir. Oh, damn. Are you questioning my authority, oh, boy? Crap. <laughs> Well, since I'm sure you're going to pocket the proceeds from those silks. Uh, at that, he, he gestures to the guard. Um, bring that one out. I need to get a better look at him. And the guard goes, oh, oh, right, right, wait, Captain. And he uh, opens the door and makes to uh, grab Cyrus. Oh, um, hey, 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 hey. And I want to go, hey, hey, no, I, let's, and then I, I want to stumble into him to re, to re-pocket his keys. Okay. We'll stumble Whoa. into him. I wanna, well, like, I want to, I want to try to, you know, hey, keep, keep your hands off of him. Uh, you're going to have to roll for this. Yeah, that's fair. To see if oh, you successfully God, I don't get have this put back in. Um, Whatever it was to pickpocket is to put it back in. Yeah, I know. I have a an idea for a, whoops <laughs> i dropped your keys um no i have an idea for a flashback that i oh this can be this can be as you're reaching into the pocket <sighs> okay it's refresher scenes can happen right before you roll okay or as you're rolling so as i mentioned kale yeah. has a history of having been a, a like a relatively petty criminal like a, a and a you know you know well rel relatively successful thief um, before joining the crew of the Owl under Captain Vance, Captain Cyrus. Um, but he, as he's like stumbling into this guy, he looks up and he recognizes one of the soldiers that's come in to fix the panel. Ooh. It's an old, like, it's like his old running mate, basically. I see. Um, uh, yeah. What was I going to say? Um, I haven't named this person yet at okay. all, but I'll figure that out. Uh, and he just has a brief flashback to them, like drinking together in a tavern, <laughs> being like, you know, you're the best. No, it was so great when you did this. And they're like <laughs> clapping each other on the back. And they're like, we'll never, you know, go hungry again. And then there's a quick montage as their relationship falls apart over something really stupid. Okay. Uh, and then obviously he went and joined the Imperial Navy or whatever you'd call this, Air Force. I don't know. It doesn't matter. And he would definitely recognize me. Yes. So sure enough, as you peer through the bars, you can see uh, Noah Sidhu working at the panels. Uh, I'm going to refresh my dice pool, but I am going to I am going to deal with this consequence. Uh, so I'll roll my. I'll he roll has my... not noticed you. Good. I'll I'll uh, roll my. Reverse pickpocketing yep. first, and then I'll figure Great. that out in a bit. Okay, so one die. I'm a burglar. Um, I'm dexterous, uh, locks, and quiet. And I'll spend a die for my pool. Here we go. Yes, for success. Excellent. Whoa, Ripley. Fleet of hand and deft of foot, you return. <laughs> you return the keys to the pocket of the unwitting guard. Uh, the guard who still has his uh, his hand on Cyrus's arm uh, mm -hmm. and is starting to pull him towards the door, and he also shoves you I, aside I, oi, roughly. Oi, well, get off me! You, don't you dare talk to him like that, Captain Polis. So, yet again, you are failing your superiors by not being familiar with the greatest outcast that there is. I remember when you were but an ensign, swabbing the decks, muttering under your breath every time a superior officer gave you an order, and yet again here you are shirking duty. You will know me as Cyrus Vance. <gasps> you will remember me. Can this be my refresher because I remember I'm remembering him and bringing back his history? Yes, oh, I, yeah. I will, I will I say yes. Think. That that was fabulous. Well done. Also, it was ballsy as fuck and has surely you, escalated the situation, sort of... which I love. I have cool. a key and it is putting me in danger by <laughs> bringing up my uh, 
Key of the outcast. Yep. I was about to yep. ask if you had a key for like outing yourself. A thousand percent. <laughs> Essentially. Yep. You have key of the outcast. Oh, yeah. Uh, so damn. So that's two XP for sure. Oh, well, yeah. well, sorry, I shouldn't say that, but mm -hmm. I feel like Yeah, would you like danger. to do um would you like to do the XP or I will also allow you to keep dice in a bank uh to use for a future roll if you'd like. Um two pool dice, I think. I'm going to keep two pool dice for later. Great. So I'm going to set those aside. Because for this roll, I assume this is going to become a roll very soon. Um, you can let me go or you can lose your life trying to stop me. Uh, he glares daggers at you. Um... I should have taken one look at that ship and understood that it could only contain someone as grubby as you. Uh, and he calls for his guards. I'd like to try oh, to yeah. shoot him before, as he starts opening his voice. He starts to open his mouth. Or mouth, yeah. <laughs> for the guards. Uh, uh, this is going to be, okay, let me see. <sighs> How good of a shot are you, si 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 Sire McGuire? I am battle hardened, shooting two gun style pistol. Like I'm pretty damn good with my pistols. All right, that's that is pretty good. Uh, okay, so then I will either make it a uh, I'll make it a three difficulty if you Kay. just want to hit him, but it's a four difficulty if you want to immediately like kill him. Just so hit him. It depends on what you want to do. Just hit him. Want to hit him? Okay, so that's three. No, kill him. He knows my name. All right, four. <laughs> yeah. No one can know who I am. To to briefly address Crosshair's point, Where are you um, shooting. Each character has Battle three pistol? kind of like goals essentially, keys. Um, if you achieve, if you if you take an action towards achieving a key, like something a motivation of your character, um, you gain an experience point or a die that you can use immediately, or I guess later. Yep. Um. Experience I'm, points can I'm be traded in for more shit later. That you can save them for later. Mm. Just re-roll it. Or, mm. uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, so. Wow! How do you want to do it? <laughs> uh, I want to shoot him through my pocket. Bang. Oh! Amazing. Uh, where does it hit him? Uh, right, right into the heart. Right. Like it goes right up under the rib cage because it's coming oh. up from my pocket, straight through the heart. Hopefully, a quick and painless death. Because you rolled so well, yes. <laughs> so let it be written. So let it be done. He opens his mouth to uh, call, but no sound comes out. Just a small, <gasps> as he is shot straight through the heart, and falls over backwards. Um. I'm gonna nod to Naomi and nod at the other guard. Um, I'd like to go and try to, uh, well, I mean, he's gonna, sorry, I assume this is like happening in, in really this quick is happening reaction very time. Quickly, yes. So I'm gonna just, yeah, I'm gonna whip out my blackjack and try to club him over the head. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm gonna nod to Naomi as well. I'm gonna be like, help! <laughs> I'm not gonna club him. Um, uh, and misdirect him a little bit by aiming a punch towards his face. So I'm going to aim so a punch. Do, and then try to hit him from behind? Yeah, it's a bit silly. Like a, no, it's cool. Well, the, the, yeah, the idea is that I'm going to faint, that I'm going to go for a gut punch, and I'm okay. going to just try to club him. Ah, head. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Okay. Uh, this is going to be... Oh, I'm not there. I have, no, I have my trick. I'm... So I, I'm tricky, and mm -hmm. I have uh, a trait here. F um, sorry, I have a tag here for dirty fighting. Yeah, which is like. excellent, but it is going to be a diff four because you're trying to do this with no noise. Okay. Can I apply quick as well? Yeah. Okay. Hello, Neofet. Okay. Um, I'll add some dice. Great. Cool. Uh, you can take one from Naomi's pool as well. Yay! Thanks, Naomi. You're welcome. Difficult roll. Here we go. 
One, two, three, four, baby! Hey. So, uh, that's that was what I was I was aiming. So yeah, so I, I want to come in for a feint and just mm -hmm. clock him over the head to knock him out. There's going to be five more guards to deal with, but I guess we're going to figure that out on the fly. You will figure it out on the fly. So far, nobody has been alerted because you did that silently. With a Silent thud, potential. but a quiet thud, the guard falls to the ground. <laughs> you could have sworn you hear a... Why? As he goes down. Sorry, brother. I just wanted dental. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? <laughs> it's one day away from retirement. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you are in the brig. You have one unconscious guard. You have one dead commander. You have the keys to the brig and the armory. Trey, so far, you have not alerted anyone else. I'd like to motion to Kale here to open the thing, drag him in, and start pulling the coat off of the uh, captain, putting it on myself and gesturing for Kale to do the same. We need to escort right. these prisoners. Onto the deck. They definitely won't notice. <laughs> They're going to walk the plank. Faces. I'm super excited about this plan. I'm really They're focused. Excited. I'm going to bark out some important you know, Yeah, we're just going to force march yeah. real fast. Um, I, I'm going to whisper Apology. under my breath mm -hmm. to uh, the lady with the raven hair as well. Uh, we're going to get you out of here. Don't worry. I, I have an aside to make. Excellent. I was convinced that I'd be able to do this without spilling any more blood. I managed to lie and cheat my way off world, get myself out of the compound, find the owl, board it. I suppose it was foolhardy, foolhardy to think that I could escape just one more drop of blood onto my hands. I tried my best, but in the end it would seem that Imperial blood can't wash out. That's a refresher. Damn. Damn. Take all so your dice back. Ding, up, ding, 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 ding. Uh, do you guys want to do some asides? Because I think that's... Oh, I'm pretty much refreshed. Yeah, we... Well, oh, sorry. Yes, John. While oh, you, you were, were out of the room, we, we did. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry yeah. you missed them. You missed them. Uh... You need... <sighs> Apologies for the rough handling, ma'am. <laughs> and I'm going to take her arm behind her back Ooh. and start, like, I'm not actually going to twist it, but I am going to, like, hold her and start marching her out of the cell. Perhaps. I'm going to glance at Naomi because, like, when this is over, like, I don't, I don't want him to forget that he treated me like this. Yeah, Naomi, Naomi glares at Cyrus and makes a, and makes a step as though to, like, intervene you're gonna walk the plank <laughs> yes <laughs> into giant squid infested <laughs> sky your yeah. misdeeds against the empire cannot go for be forgiven there is no fate for you but to fall through the fog eternal and yeah, are you start doing this for the benefit of the, the guards who are trying to fix? The, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to try to keep her face obscuring mine as much as possible. Are you trying to wow. imitate the captain's voice or are you speaking as Cyrus? Uh, I will try to speak as the captain. Okay. I think that can be a role. Yeah. Uh, how well did you know the captain? Uh, I've known him since he was an ensign, so I've known him for. I knew him for. I we served on the same ship for a tour of duty, at least. And were you his superior, or was he your superior? Uh, I was his superior, but not by much. I was like a rank or two above him. He okay. was your cabin boy. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Uh, okay, so this is only going to be a diff two because the other marines are distracted by. Mm -hmm. Getting the communications up and running again. So I'm going to say this is smuggler deception. I think this still has to do with uh, being ex -imperial an ex-imperial soldier. So I would go okay. ex-imperial, uh, maybe command. Connections. Yep. Does that count? Yeah. Oh. 
Uh, and we're gonna use a couple of bonus dice. Get in there. Five successes. Damn. I can make these rolls harder, I think. <laughs> I mean, I got lucky. We're also spending a lot to make sure that yeah. these go through. Yeah. This is true, which is exactly what the game is intending, I'm yeah. realizing now. They want you to spend your personal pool, do refresher scenes, rinse, repeat. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so I'm going to start marching her down the hall past these guards. Or okay. mechanics or whatever they are. They don't even turn around. They are still... Uh, fixated on their task. However, as you pass, uh, they uh, they give a little uh, grunt of satisfaction because they have succeeded in getting the communications back up and running. Damn it! <laughs> well done, soldiers. You're going to have to say Report goodbye back to your to hand. Report back to. <laughs> <laughs> Report back to the bridge. Uh, they uh, they give a little proud salute and uh and head back to the bridge I'm like i don't even break step as i say it was the lady blackbird's comment meant to like meant to be heard or was it really under your breath i'm trying to make sure that i'm putting up a good show of being a prisoner at the same time oh. fuck you for putting my arm behind my back <laughs> uh so then i'm going to as we're as we're all marching down the hall then yeah. i'm gonna be like i don't think you're in a position to be making threats lady I'm not uh, even certain that, how you Naomi, got into your position at all. Hmm? Sorry, John? I'm not even certain how you got into your position at all. Loyalty. And I kind of smirk. <laughs> and then I wink. <laughs> <laughs> I glance As back we... over my sh sh shoulder to see if the others have like are continuing back towards the bridge. Uh, they are continuing back towards the bridge. Um, you hear an excited voice call out, uh, we're getting a transmission. I'm going to let go of, uh, the lady's arm. My apologies, ma'am. Now that we're clear, let's book it. And I'm going to start like trotting we're towards, hustling. uh, where the owl was docked and tethered. Yeah. Uh, excellent. At the, um, uh, at the communications being down, a lot of people um, left their posts to immediately go to the nearest panel and uh, and try to get everything going again. Uh, so there is actually no one guarding the entrance of the owl oh, wow. at this point. However, as you uh, set foot on the gangplank to uh, get onto the owl, um, an intercom system starts up. Because this is an airship and I do what I want. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. There's an intercom yeah. system. That's um, fine. Uh, and it says, uh, Prochaine station, Lionel Grou. <laughs> Prochaine station, Edouard Monti. Uh, it says, uh, uh, Attention, uh, attention crew. We have just received a transmission that there is a runaway from the Elysium world. Uh, this is of top priority. Uh, the, the Lady Blackbird is missing. Count Carlisle is beside himself and <laughs> requests any news about his fiance to be immediately delivered to the Eagle's might. Over now. Um. Hey, Snargle. We ready to take this? We ready to get out of here? <laughs> <laughs> Do you shit at two o'clock every day? Uh, <laughs> I look towards the lady. No, um, and I look to Snargle. Don't ever say that again. He's already like on God his way. God damn it, Snargle! To the... um, How dare you? How dare you shit? I'm going <laughs> to be, be uh, <laughs> slashing at all of the cables currently tethering us to the Hand of Sorrow. Excellent. Ooh. Yeah, how are we gonna get yeah, out man. of those? They're hmm. attached to our ship sh somehow, so I'm just gonna cut them loose. Cut them loose? Bam. Very well. Can I assist uh, the captain in doing you this? You can! We're gonna see how quickly you're able to do it. This is gonna be... Well, who wants to make this roll? Tackle. Keeps you regular. Uh, I'm going have... to order you... Yep. ...to... <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> do your loose. job. Loose the ship, whether or not the engines have started, whether or not we fall into the fog, 
Perhaps it'll give us a bit of a lead. All right, Captain. Fall through the uh, fall through the fog until we can turn the engine on. Sounds like a plan. Got it, Captain. No problem. I'll. <laughs> I'm gonna start. Um, I mean. Uh, yeah, I'm a mechanic. Yeah. And I'm relatively efficient at said task. I'm going mm-hmm. to <laughs> say, um, I'm going to uh, start disconnecting, like, hurriedly. I'm going to start disconnecting the cables that are keeping us tethered to the Imperial ship, mm-hmm. whose name I've forgotten. Hand, Hand of, of Sorrow. sorrow. The Hand mm-hmm. of Sorrow. Because if that's not an evil name, I, know, I don't right? know what is. It's great. I'm going to. Also, then, I'm uh, just while I'm doing this, I'm going to turn to the lady. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to suggest strongly, maybe you should keep your head down in the ship till we're clear of all this. Uh, I have a better idea. Hmm? Uh, I'm going to give you one of my dice, Scott, from giving you those orders. That's okay. uh, this is going to be a diff three. Time is of the essence. I did not succeed. Then I will use my secret of leadership to give you a reroll. Oh. Ooh. Thanks to my ordering. Be... Come on, Kale. You can do it, Kale. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> so, sorry, I get a reroll? Yep. Once per game, uh, I can give you a reroll. Bravo. Come on. Three successes, well baby. Done. Thank you. Uh, Thanks, Commander. You succeed in uh, overriding the clamps that are uh, tethering the owl to the Hand of Sorrow, Mm -hmm. and uh, the ship is free. Right, and then I wanted to hear what Lady Blackbird's I had a better Mm -hmm. suggestion was. Uh, As the are there is there anybody on the Hand of Sorrow who can see us slipping away? I think. We might have to roll for that. Would you like there to be, John? Well, it, no, my course of action depends on whether people can see us or not. If nobody is looking at us, then I don't need to do anything. But if people but I are looking. see what you do. So maybe some people did notice this. Oh, yes. Shit. <laughs> one lookout. Oh, God. One little. So one. I'm going to whirl. I'm going to whirl to Kale, who's currently doing this. And I'm going to say. Do your best to stop me, and let's hope that your best isn't good enough. Uh, okay. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, to stand up. I'm going to let my face shine, um, and using all of my, you know, all of my, my command, I'm going to, uh, lift myself up and I'm going to say, You tell the Count that this is what happens when he ends up a Dark Seven. Now, I'm using an Imperial Code to imply that he is a traitor. Oh, oh. And then I'm going to run off the gangplank and jump off the ship. What? (laughs) So this is the stop, I think. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. I sure hope you got a plan, lady. And I'm just going to go, lady. Oh, it's the blackbird. I get it now. <laughs> no, no, because cause the, it, yeah, it was, just, it was just announced. All right. So what are you going to do, Kale? Seems like you have some orders. Uh, I, well, my orders were to try to stop the lady blackbird. So... No, your orders are to not stop me to try but not to succeed right exactly to try and hopefully my best isn't good enough so I'm gonna, what gonna i'm trying it, oh, what me. i'm trying Don't to do <laughs> i am trying to do the following things i'm trying to a paint the count as somebody who is no longer uh, worthy of complete trust b okay. make it appear to everybody on the hand of sorrow that the lady blackbird is dead mm. c Use sorcery to blow myself up in a gust of wind so that I am pinned to the hull of the ship as it continues on its way to Haven so that I don't actually die. (laughs) I mean, that's fucking awesome. (laughs) Might want to belay my order to dip into the fog then. 
<laughs> well, I'm doing it as they're looking. I mean, well, now we can dip into the fog. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, so let's find out if this whole thing works. This whole charade. Okay, so the first thing that we're doing, I think, is as, uh, what would you say, John, as an imperial no noble or cunning? Because this is you trying to convince the lookout. So this is deception, misdirection, and codes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, what's what's the difficulty on this? The diff is three. It's three? Hmm. Uh, okay. Three successes. Very nice. Two. So uh, I know it's hard to see from a distance, but Snargle can tell that the lookout just goes, <gasps> clasps a hand to his mouth <laughs> does a slight swoon i mean i mean count carlo is like he's well known in count these carlo? parts count carlo a, a traitor? traitor it's not possible it couldn't be true and yet the lady spoke with such conviction and now the lady has jumped Yeet. so Yeet. <laughs> if if the if the um if the intention is to make it appear that you're throwing yourself down into the fog um kale is going to like dive after you, not off the ship, but onto the gangplank and reach out and not get you and go, no! And just like, as you fall to your doom or whatever. So I'm gonna act the okay. part. Okay, great. Uh, John, how, what are what kind of role are you gonna do to, uh, to blow yourself? I'm a master sorcerer. <laughs> Fucking damn it. Perfect. So, oh, wait, hang on. You're what? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm a master sorcerer. I'm a spellcaster. I am a stormblood, and I have wind at my command. Oh, my God. May I? Uh, what? Well, I want to assist with my die, but you I'm can. not sure. Okay. Can I? You can give one die. It, it wouldn't help with the magic. Although I have, no, you know what? I have some petty you're, magic. You're, so You've got petty magic. Yeah, so this die will essentially be a cantrip. Like it'll, it'll, yeah. John, I'm giving you a die. Thank you. Uh, what's the difficulty on this? This is a diff four. Diff four, huh? All right. Yeah. No. Roll fuck. I'll get it. Thank you. Go no. on. Yes. No. Go on. Yes. Go on. Yes. Uh, well, I'm I'm loading up on dice because I do not want to. Um, <laughs> you die. <laughs> Actually, don't want to fail this. You will be swallowed by a giant squid. <laughs> yeah. You will. The end. Credits. Yeah, the end. So difficulty four, right? Yes, please. Black bird. Black bird. Black, Black. bird. Black bird. Okay. I have a secret of inner focus. Once per session, I can reroll a failure when doing sorcery. <laughs> Oh, thank God. All right. Let's try it again. So you tumble a little further than you thought, and you're like, uh oh, <laughs> better focus up. <laughs> try again. Go on, let's go. <laughs> I would like to no! uh, oh leap God. off of the ship, grabbing a rope, trying to sail down after her. This is fucking <laughs> insane. I'm leaving you all behind after this. This is crazy. Uh, okay, so Wait, no, I get uh, so Lady Blackbird plummets <laughs> away from the ship, uh, and Cyrus grabs a, a tether cord and leaps after her. Is yeah, that your master sorcerer. Holy <laughs> shit, uh, John! I will also say. Um, you are given the option to re-roll that again. Not through the secret, but through just the mechanics of the game. But you need to figure out a way to escalate it. Okay. Uh, to make something bad you happen. You get plus one die as well. You get plus one die as well. Um, okay, so I'm going to... I'll, I'll re-roll. And Cyrus re is also coming towards you. Yeah, in re-rolling, if I, if I should fail this roll, then I'm going to drag Cyrus off the tether. Okay. <laughs> I like it. Um, so... Uh, hey. <laughs> no. <laughs> so who's rolling what? So I'm still rolling to try okay. to make sure that my wind spell works, but okay. uh, now hopefully you're going to give me that extra second that I need to make sure that the spell mm. actually kicks in. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yay. Hey. Protagonist is not dead, everyone. <laughs> Giant squid just looks like, yeah, fuck. 
continues flying. So that was motivated by my interest in the lady. Are you? Oh. Ah. Oh. Does that count as hitting a key? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I'll save you, lady. Whose who's <laughs> key did you hit? Gross. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. You uh, you definitely hit your key. So would you like to add dice to your pool or would you like to take XP? Uh, am I rolling for anything right now? Uh, no, because the Lady Blackbird succeeded. So yeah. as she flies up, the two of you collide yeah. in oh. midair. What the? Oof. Is this a romantic sort of like... Like, do you catch Cyrus in your arms and sail upward? Like, how, how does this look? Paint us a picture, please. I'm going to plant one of my hands into his chest and just push him so that he's <laughs> between me and the hull. It's actually oh. <laughs> And then I'm going to lean very close. I've got you. My ribs! <laughs> this was for twisting my arm. And I'm just going to let him be the buffer between me and the ship. I mean, it's a rough ship. It's probably got, like, sky barnacles or some crap on it. Yeah, there are definitely some sky barnacles. Is that a tear or is that, like, That's a sweat tree? drop and then blood. Oh, sweat drop. <laughs> Out of Jesus. my nose. <laughs> oh, okay, I like it. Oh, yeah, sure. You will that be taking trope. barnacles off your back for a little of a few days. Ouch. That's Unless okay. someone else does it for you. Uh, I'm going to continue to channel the spell to keep us pressed with wind, and hopefully Snargle will get us the F out of A. Snargle's been working hard uh, at at his uh, at his post, and uh, he has eased the owl away from the hand of sorrow, I'm and he tries to keep it relatively steady so that y'all aren't uh, buffeted against horrible winds. Uh, but he is mindful that there uh, there is no fuel, very little fuel left on this ship. Whoa. So y'all are gonna have to, yeah, dock yeah. soon. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm dragging the gangplank in yeah. as well, uh, and I'm gonna turn to Naomi. Who the hell is she? Uh, I'm also. Get up and let's get them back. Gonna turn. If you need to be believed dead, I need to come up empty-handed. Go. I'm gonna slip out of her pin and climb hand over hand with my great nautical skill and up onto the deck. You're looking a little flushed, Captain. She's gone. <gasps> Dive the ship. We have to try to find her in the fog. Everybody, below decks. Snargle dives. Dives the I know, ship. Get, get to Haven. Yeah. I don't care if people on the ship know I'm alive. Yeah, but like, also <laughs> towards Haven. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. Like, don't go too deep. Go straight down first. That's the fog. Yeah. The fog. Go Cover down. Under fog, keep going. Uh, Snar up. Snargle yeah. dives into the fog. Yeah. Go down, but don't go too deep. Watch out for the sky squid. Count Carlo said. Oh, probably. Ew. Sky um. Yeah, they're in the fog. Uh, I am going to man the weapons <laughs> for the sky squids, which I they haven't appeared yet. No, I know. Yeah. I'm just. I'm getting ready. Cast it into the fog. <laughs> we have short range sonar. So I'm gonna make myself make my way to the uh, bridge. It's just me going. Boom. Boom. Uh, excellent. What are you What are you doing? You're checking the sonar for squids. Yeah. Uh, and we also have a mid-range uh, communicator. So I'd like to try to listen for chatter with my knowledge of Imperial uh, warships. I'd like to tune to their channel. Okay. Um, this isn't going to be a roll. I'll just let okay. you do it. Uh, so it is it is the transmission about Lady Blackbird. Mm -hmm. um, clearly somebody paid a lot of money 
for this transmission to be pushed to the top of the priority list. Uh, there is a description of her person, which exactly matches the mysterious passenger that you have been traveling with. Um, uh, an absurd amount of money is offered as a reward for her retrieval, for her safe retrieval and return to Elysium. Else, well, ship sailed on that one. Literally. Wait. Um, so no reports yet of her presumed disappearance and death. I would imagine that that's going to happen once people have figured out why their commanding officer is, is dead. dead. Yeah. Ooh. I think that got kind of moved down. They're yeah, like, that's fair. Yeah. Uh, Actually, so that's a great question. Sorry to interrupt. Mm -hmm. Is this, is the Hand of Sorrow like... Give it, like moving or giving i mean it is moving obviously but it's not giving chase to us I well imagine. they're waiting on orders from their commander when someone went to look for the commander presumably he was <laughs> found <rip>. dead rip <laughs> it's bad at the moment it is not giving chase okay Wait. you've bought yourself a little bit of time and created confusion yeah so just of already know that we're heading to haven yeah so it needs to be a real quick stop <laughs> Uh, so once, once I've heard enough, I'm gonna head, uh, I guess to wherever the closest, um, what are those called? Portholes. Port Porthole. I was like port, but there's more to it. Porthole, uh, to where the lady was. And, uh, pop it open. Uh, I'm gonna crawl my way back into the owl. That's what Alfred saved said. Unfortunately, they are broadcasting your description everywhere that there are communicators to listen. Have one of your men. Have one of your men bring their finest razor. Uh, I produce Absolutely. an ornate silver razor from the inside pocket of my jacket like a straight razor yeah and i kind of i go sorry to i i go to give it to the lady magic is strong with you i don't cut my own hair you're going to do it shall i would it be prudent to ask your companion to uh, do some shopping while we're very, very briefly in Haven to assist in your disguise. Patchwork, men's clothing, and a binder. Naomi nods. Yeah. All of it. So I'm going to go to start chopping off... Um, Lady Blackbird's hair, and I, I want to look towards the captain, and just be like, you know, just give him a, give him a like. You want me to do this? Yeah. <laughs> me, all right. I'm gonna start sh like shearing hair from Lady Blackbird's head. You um, turn away. All of it was the instruction, so it's going down to the scalp. Respectfully. <gasps> It's a very smooth shave. Oh. Folks in the Navy are good at braiding and shaving <laughs> and all of that. They're always clean shaven with their hair nicely braided. Mm -hmm. Very true. Oh my God. I'm, I'm sorry. It was what you wished, but I'm still sorry. It's only hair. It grows back. I suppose. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> In this universe? She used oh, the very oh, last thanks. of her magic to grow her hair last time. Yeah, oh, oh it's true. Oh, boy. I smell a flashback. <laughs> 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 oh, this is just like the last time. All right. Uh, I'm going to use our, uh, our communicator with signal mask enabled. Uh, and uh, try to reach out to some of my connections on Haven uh, to try to figure out where we can 
quickly fuel up to have them alerted before we land so that they're ready to go the second we get there. Okay, so the connections that you have, are they of the criminal variety? Yeah. All right, so for a premium, they could probably uh, refuel your ship in a fairly quick time. My understanding is that Lady Blackbird has given us quite the payment um, for this uh, trap. Did she pay in advance? This Ooh, is the question. Ooh, this is a question. Lady I Blackbird, assume she would have given some up then. Oh, if I'm going to pay in advance, I'd pay it to Vance. Point. Point. Hey, you also agree with the point. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, so you you do make connection with one of your one of your contacts and uh, they they give you the coordinates for where to land, where you will be more discreetly uh, tucked away, shall we say. Uh, so you can refuel. I will relay this information to Snargle, our <laughs> pilot, who I trust to set us down gently. I always get the yeah. impression that Snargle is just a really foul-mouthed Pokemon. Snargle. Snargle. Oh, Snargle. 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 <laughs> Shit, at two o'clock, Snargle. Yeah, that was so weird. I was just so, like, <laughs> I mean, I guess that's our relationship, but I really I didn't expect it. Snargle's a knocker, clearly. <laughs> yes, actually, very true. Yes, definitely. Snargle is a knocker. Uh, so oh. Snargle uh, takes the ship down. It takes uh, about 45 minutes uh, to safely dock it. Mm -hmm. um, now, right before you leave the ship, I should warn you that the transmissions, uh, if you are still listening to them, mm -hmm. uh, they start to change. Uh, one missive uh, or one message comes in from the Hand of Sorrow uh, explaining that a murder has been discovered on their ship, that Commander Hollis is dead. Uh, oh, rip, Hollis. Murderers, rip Hollis. Rip Hollis. <laughs> uh, the murderers are thought to be the crew of the Owl. The last known associates of the now presumed dead Lady Blackbird. <gasps> Does Lady Blackbird get the dead tag? No. No, okay. <laughs> I guess we know that she's not presumed dead. So Exactly. Or, I mean, yeah, you understand. Uh, a description of the owl is, is sent out, uh, as well as a physical description of all of the crew, including Naomi. Yikes. So much for uh, fancy attire from the port. We'll fashion something from what we have on, on board. Yeah. It was um, a fine piece of shooting, Captain. I, I just... The sooner we can get out of Imperial space, the better. Haven is outside of Imperial space, but... They like to wander in when they feel like they're, they have an excuse. Long reach. I'm pretty sure the owl can outrun anything they throw at us, just as long as she has a bit of fuel. Fuel up. Yeah. Straight to the remnants. No stopping at night port. Might have to go on half rations. <sighs> I look to Snargle, who, of course, is often quite hungry and very mad about it so <laughs> I touch all my flesh and I'm like don't don't eat it uh, so it will take a few hours to refuel okay oh, hours yep okay okay they do it with uh, like a siphon and it like they gotta pay somebody to suck the hose and yep exactly <laughs> glug, 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 glug. hey your your fuel your fuel canisters are large these hopes and dreams need yeah. a lot of space oh I see what you did there uh, your contact, Cyrus, is uh, what is their name? Do you want? Do you have a name for them? Should we pull a name out of our butts? No. Yeah, uh, Logan Porter. Logan Porter. Logan Porter is none too happy uh, to see you uh, because he also uh, is able to tap into the Imperial transmission. So he's like, "What have you brought to my dang doorstep?" Nothing anyone needs to know about or worry about. Oh, Jesus Christ, Vance. 
else. I'm used to you turning up here all hours of the day with a bunch of shit on your tail. But the entire Imperial fleet, have you completely lost your mind? Maybe. Maybe. Did they you had us captured. Commanding officer. They had us captured. They drove that poor woman to her death. She killed herself. She leapt off of the bri the bridge rather than be captured by them and brought back to that. Here he's a traitor. Oh. Well, I hear he's on his way now. Oh. It's okay, I'm bald now. He won't want me. I was gonna say, is like, do you think he'll even recognize you at this point? Yeah. Oh, and Naomi better bring me a hat. This is cold. <laughs> so is Naomi out shopping? If Naomi's comfortable, I let her know that her description has been circulated. And Naomi will do whatever Lady Blackbird uh, requires. So she's off. Sorry. I want to look like a like a cabin boy. Cyrus, just once you get your fuel, you get the hell off my world. Not a second later. I you know, if the one. count shows up and asks for you, I'm not gonna lie. Fine. We're headed. I shouldn't tell you where we're headed. Where are you headed? <laughs> <laughs> wow. To Olympia. We thought we'd throw them off our tail, stopping by Haven. Excuse me while I take a second to look at the map. It's uh, right next to Elysium, back in the Imperial Worlds. I see. Totally That's not pretty. Nightport. The old double back. The old double back. Uh, double back. Uh, uh. We're hoping if we can get close enough to the sun, they won't be able to follow us. Isn't that where the Lady Blackbird was escaping from? She was traveling with you, wasn't she? She's gone now. They wouldn't expect us to go back to the Imperial Worlds. No, they wouldn't expect you to do such a suicidal thing. Going back into the Imperial Worlds when you're wanted by the whole fleet? They'll look for us in Nightport, and that's where we were headed in the first place. I hope you know what you're doing, Vance. I don't never know happened before, but there's a first time for everything. Kale. Lady. Kale. How is discipline enforced on this ship? Well, there's few enough of us that if somebody makes a mistake, typically I give them a shout. And if it's me that makes the mistake, the captain gives them a shout. And that's all. Generally. I need a shiner. <laughs> he, gives, he gives you a smirk and then like wipes it off his face immediately. What'd you do? I was derelict in my duties. I failed to swab the deck. I was too interested in rummaging through the late passengers' belongings. Hmm. So, a thief, is it? <clears throat> you know, we don't tolerate that sort of thing on this ship. Um, Kale starts rolling up his sleeves. Now, I don't know who you think you are, cabin boy. But around here, we take our work seriously. We defer to our superiors, and we make sure that we uh, make sure that we work hard. In I order punch to him succeed. in the jaw. Oh! oh, oh now I oh. I have absolutely no skill in punching people. Okay. Uh, I don't imagine that I have a whole much of a punch. Well, we're going to check all the same. 
So I think that is a uh, a pool of one plus any personal pool you want to use. Uh, a pool of one has no chance of success. I could set the difficulty at one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's true. To see if you actually touch him at all. Um. Okay, how about this? I'll, I'll add two dice for my key of the imposter. I'm attempting to disguise myself. Mm? Okay. So oh, yes, we can. Do and this. I'm gonna add cunning, and disguise. <laughs> oh, okay. Now you really want to hit me. All right. Okay. <laughs> well, no, but I'm being asked, so oh, I guess I have to roll I'm just it. Getting around. It's good. Go for it. Two successes. Very well. Uh, you. It hurts. Crack. I'm taking the injured tag. Oh, oh, fantastic. <laughs> Not like severely injured. I'm, just, I'm taking the tag. Your nose uh, starts to bleed. Ah. I see it's gonna have be an like effect that. on men. It like drips down onto his coat a little bit. He just kind of wipes it back. Um, he takes note of the size of Lady Blackbird's head, cocks back with his fist, <laughs> That's and crack. Strange thing to say. It's gonna. It's trust me. It's coming back. Okay. Um, He's going to, yeah, cock back with his fist and clock her across the cheek to give her the shiner that she wanted. All right, great. What are you using for this? Well, so my... This is also two. Right. My my mission... Well, okay, so she in fails. terms of... <laughs> she gets knocked over the side of the ship. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, I'm tricky and I'm quick. Uh, also, this is... I, I, my, it's my mission to safely deliver Lady Blackbird. She seems to believe that, this is not the captain's orders, but that she seems to believe that this is something that she needs in order to safely do it. So I'm gonna do my duty. Yeah. That's my key. You're right. This is very much. I'm taking an extra die for it. Perfect. Go for it. And I'm using one. Here very we go. Well. You said two, right? I did. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, right in the eye? Cheek? I said, I think it was like cheek. Right in the eye. Holy shit. She asked for a shiner. shiner. Asked for a shiner. Yeah, you can have a shiner like here, no? Can't you? I don't know. I always thought a shiner was a black eye. Oh. Yeah. Bam, right in the eye socket. Right in the orbital. Let's go. <laughs> Crack. <laughs> All right. Lady Blackbird falls dead. Uh, Kale's feet. I uh, hide the body. <laughs> <laughs> well, there. we said she was done. Yeah, it's, well, now she is. All right, Lady Blackbird, you are now in possession of one Shiner. Am I injured? Yes. Yes, you are. You're also dead, tired, angry, lost, hunted, and trapped. <laughs> all of the above. <laughs> Not to be confused right, with is. none of the above. Uh, I'm going to spin on my heel and walk out, uh, massaging my jaw. I'd like to leave the ship. Mm -hmm. Naomi is off collecting things for the Lady Blackbird. I would like to... Um, I would like to sneak into a shop and shoplift uh, a hat, uh, a, like a like a a navel, like a. So you're not even going to pay for the hat; you're just going to steal it. Correct. This okay. is the key to my greed. I want to prove to myself that I can still that I still got it, and I want <laughs> I want to shoplift a hat <laughs> for the Lady Blackbird. Hence the size of her head. Okay, that's why you were checking. I thought it was for the punching purposes. No, nope. uh... this is God's thinking ahead. Gotcha. <laughs> Thinking ahead of heads. Yeah. Great. Uh, okay. Uh, this is going to be a diff. Oh, this is going to be a diff four, though, because this world is used to criminal activity. That's fair. So they're used to people trying to shoplift. Okay. Well, I'm going to empty my pool for this because I feel like I want to. I want. I want to do. I want to do. I want another Blackbird six ball. Scott aside. You want what? Six Scott aside. A oh, story about your yeah. Uh, well, I'll I'll empty my pool for now, and then you'll get one. Don't you worry. Um. Okay. So I'm a bur I was a burglar. Yeah. Um. Sneak. Maybe. Yeah. Dexterous. Tech. Uh, yeah. That's that. Great. I'll take my other two as well. Here so we go. Four, right? I did. Oh my God! You actually got four. Absolutely. Incredible. That is really impressive. It's just for you, lady, whatever your name is. <laughs> if possible, I'd love for it to be like... Uh, you just a... describe what this hat looks like. It's, so, all, it's all you. Well, so it's it's a, it's the hat intended for like the lowliest of the low on the ship, right? A, a cabin boy, essentially. It's made of pure shit. It's not made of pure shit. Um, however, it is a 
it is a black peaked cap um, with a very small uh, like bird um, pin in it um, that I return to the ship and I casually like toss it at her. <laughs> it looks <laughs> fetching. <laughs> <laughs> Fetching is an understatement. It looks very good. Uh, <laughs> astonishing. <laughs> okay, and that's 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 me for now. Uh, all right. So you you return to the ship. Um, I would say that the ship is about twenty minutes away from being uh, fully fueled at this point. Uh, Naomi has still not returned. <sighs> Rip, let's go. <laughs> uh, I will Blackbird? inform Lady Blackbird of this uh, current status situation. Shall we look for her? You're the captain of the ship. She's your bodyguard. I assume she's dear to you. But is her mission to what is what is her priority to you? <laughs> her mission is to see me safe. Your mission is to assure the safety of your crew. And as much as I might want to see her back on this deck, I can't put your entire crew at jeopardy for one person. So we aren't sending a party for her? Very well. If you're going to give me command. We'll get a search party going. We'll I want we wish to know your wishes so that I can act accordingly. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I was just wondering if if that was like, if the tone was a little insubordinate for Lady Blackbird, or maybe not. Maybe that's just your rapport these days. Like towards her? Yeah. Because she was implying that she was giving the orders, and I'm like, no, you don't. Because I have the key of the commander. I'm used to giving orders. So that she would suggest that I might give up my command. That's a lot. Yeah. Yes, I want her back. Then we will do our best. But we won't spend more than an hour on it. After that, everyone else's safety has to come first. Uh, has Kale returned? Not yet. Yeah, Kale, Kale comes back in and tosses the the cap neatly. This is where the, it happens. Oh yeah, also, time. I've got a huge black eye now. Oh yeah, hold up. Oh yeah. <laughs> hold up. <laughs> hold up. Kale returns. That didn't happen outside. It would seem that there are penalties for those who are derelict in their duty. I'm going to pick up the hat and snap it onto my There is head. no such behavior aboard my ship. There is a reason why I left the Imperial Army. Who did this to you? No. I did. Lady Blackbird, I need mean not to question your abilities, but I do not believe that you are capable of punching yourself so forcefully. Captain Vance, one. if you so much as breathe that name one more time, you'll be putting all of us into the sky. <sighs> I told you I did this to myself. Do you dare claim that I am a liar? Fine. Suppose now I'm playing the role of a captain who injures his few crew members. Good to know. A I will find your woman. A shipboard brawl is hardly uncommon. Sorry that you've only ever heard those kinds of stories. And I'm gonna walk off the walk back off the ship and into <laughs> off the ship and ah! <laughs> <laughs> wrong exit. I would like to think myself a little more civilized than that. 
What an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Do you think there's Cyrus. a chance? <laughs> oh, did I knock down there? Oops. Ripley. All right. Who is a part of this search party if that is happening? I mean, me. <laughs> <laughs> I, Naomi can't look for herself and Lady Blackbird's not. No, you're needed with the ship, Snarl. God <laughs> damn it. He disappears back into the shadows. I think it's just the captain and I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lady Blackbird is pretty well disguised. Especially if she borrowed somebody's clothes. Oh, well, uh, Lady Blackbird will come. Yeah. <laughs> I did this to myself, you know. Like glug, it's... Glug, 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 yes. glug, glug, glug. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry, what, Scott? Get out of here, cat. <laughs> I don't have a drink. <laughs> it's not the first time that Scott's drank so deeply from that cat. Ah, that's good fluff. <laughs> <laughs> what? He's done that before. Okay. Yeah. Done what? <laughs> um. I guess we're looking for Naomi somehow. <laughs> um. Oh, didn't someone have? I thought someone had tracking, but I could very well be wrong on that. It front. might Fuck, no. be Naomi. Which is amazing. I kind of hope it is. Unless no, it's it Snargle? <laughs> Snargle. Damn it, Snargle. <laughs> no. Okay. Um, so, I mean, you know, outside the, outside the ship there, because you are in a more out of the way place, uh, there is a cantina. Uh, and there are a few market stalls and the, the sun is going down. The sun. The light is leaving the sky. Down. It'll be dark soon. It's coming from, and uh, it'll, be it, it'll be dark soon. So the merchants are starting to close up. I'm going to uh, studiously avoid the shop where I shoplifted the hat. <laughs> uh, I'm also going to try to gu guide Lady Blackbird not towards that shop. But I'm going to start asking uh, market stall owners whether they've seen someone matching the description of Naomi, without <laughs> describing her so well that we get busted. Hello, market stall owner. <laughs> <laughs> hello. Ah, hello. Oh, you look hello, like. Danny. Oh, you look like an Agnes. <laughs> yes. yes. Uh, okay. Well, a few of them mention having seen a very cranky, uh, scary-looking woman. She's huge. Yeah. Um, uh, who bought some clothes from them, uh, and then proceeded on uh, in the direction of the cantina. To the Star Wars, Star Wars cantina. Music and blasters drink, and DMCA's. Uh, yeah, <laughs> off to the cantina. She wouldn't be having a drink, Captain. Perhaps I she like... was seeking information. Mm. I quirk an eyebrow to the Lady Blackbird. We can trust her. I'm doing my very best to appear as a cabin boy, so I won't. Uh, I won't say anything, <laughs> but answer that. there's a glint in her eye of how fucking dare you. I give my jaw a quick uh, crunch back into oh, place. No, no, I just give it a quick massage. Sorry. Your nose is still bleeding. It hasn't stopped. Wow. In really? Yeah. That's just, really just, dangerous. Just That's fix like your really nose, bad, right? Dude. You just kind of... Oh. oh, gross. I hate it so much. I hate it so much. It was right in the mic. Oh, God. I hate it so much. <laughs> Thor's crunch. Um, the chat has left the chat. Right. <laughs> Viewer count negative ten thousand. Uh, negative ten thousand. Are you entering the canteen? Yeah. Cool. Uh, as you walk in, guns blazing. Yeah, no, no guns. <laughs> Swords no guns. blazing. Swords blazing. Uh, you uh, there's a there's a, a fiddle player. In the corner, playing a jaunty little little tune. There are a couple of uh, rough-looking sorts uh, drinking at the bar. Um, there's also a, a room open towards the back of the bar. Uh, you can see there are a bunch of people in there. What do they seem to be doing? I don't know. They're oh, we're huddled, not sure. They're huddled over the door. Uh, I would like to not go in so that there aren't too many people of certain descriptions together. I'd like to uh, surround the perimeter. 
See if there are any open windows to peer through or listen in. Oh, I'd like to slice the pie. <laughs> <laughs> That is such a funny term. I can't believe I had never heard it before, like, whatever that was a couple weeks ago. Oh, so good. <laughs> Cut the pizza. Just so good. Uh, okay, so Cyrus is looking for a window through which to peer. Nice. What's everyone else doing? Um, I'm just going to trust that I can blend into a crowd. I'm just going to walk straight in. You're um, wearing that. Uh, you're wearing that. Leather jacket yeah. covered in my own blood. Yeah, you bet. Um, Perfect. You actually fit in really well here. Yeah, exactly. The runny, the runny nose. I'm just going to run my hand through my hair, toss a coin to my witcher. I'm going to toss a coin <laughs> to my, the barkeep for, for a drink. Um, hey, thanks. What's going on back there? Oh, it's somebody's payday today. What do you mean? Oh, they've captured someone with a big bounty on their heads, yeah. Oh, wow. And now they're all fighting over who has the right to bring her in. Classic. <laughs> Can't trust those mercenaries, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> as long as I get paid at the end of the day. I don't know what the fuck this person is. Really well, it's an old woman who runs the bar, <laughs> it obviously. Is. It is. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know. It's a Nancy Drew character. Mm -hmm. mm. It was the prisoner. Ah. <laughs> uh, all, all I know is she's wanted by the Imperials, by Count Carlowers himself. Oh. Uh, and goes back. She goes back to uh, uh, cleaning the bar, uh, drying some some glasses. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna look towards uh, Lady Blackbird. Come on, Jake. Let's go see what all the fuss is about. Or a guff. <laughs> yes. And I'll uh, swagger my way just like into the back room, like I belong there. Right. I'm gonna Come do on. my very best to stride with like my hips moving straight forward. And oh yeah. Uh, do you think you do this well, or is it bad? What do we What do we think? <laughs> I have uh, tags of deception, misdirection, and disguise. All right. Okay. I will have you roll to see how well you walk as a cabin boy. The difficulty is only two. I would love for you to spend your experience at some point on a new tag. Perhaps Lady walking Blackbird without wants hips. to be an actor. Yeah, walking without hips. That's actually actual what she's doing. She's escaping to join the circus. Yeah. Oh, nice. Two, two successes. All right. Nice. Uh, your impersonation is, is masterfully done. I mean... Kale does a double take, that's for sure. No. <laughs> and a few of them sort of like like give you little winks. <laughs> oh, 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 I don't know how I feel about that. Pleasure doing business with you, guys. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Yeah, so we're going to swagger in. I don't know if, if Cap the captain did not come in behind us. No, the captain did not come in behind you. The captain I'm... is outside looking for a window. Okay, I'm hoping the captain is able to find said window so we can do some sort of awesome breakout here. I'm hoping the captain can come from behind later on. <sighs> captain, do you think you find a window outside? Captain, what do you, do you think? think you come from uh, behind later on? Let's, let's find out if um, Survivor? <laughs> I yeah. don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Survivor's a nice jack yeah. of all trades kind of situation. Though I none of it. my tags apply. It's closer to smuggler? Sneaking? I don't know. I'm not good <laughs> I don't know. at any I think of this. Creepy stare would, uh... Holy shit, you have creepy stare yeah, as a tag. Why haven't you been doing creepy stare more often? That's Cyrus. I don't know. I saw stare and intimidate. Arr, arr. I think I saw, arr. like, stare and intimidate, so I assume it was, like, intimidating stare, not creepy stare. Oh my goodness. Why is that a tag? I don't know, but it's, it's great. actually really funny. Uh, <laughs> we can Lady also Blackbird. In this case, you're, you're scrounging for um, mm -hmm. entrance. <laughs> <laughs> Got the entrance. Let's just check in here. <laughs> yeah, looking for secret entrances. So great. Diff two. Cat. Uh... Oh right, there's also the whatever. It doesn't matter. But I succeed. I get three successes. Yay! 
There are no windows. <laughs> there are no windows. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. Um, Springs. You me. could get. Yeah. Would you like to be perched in a tree, or would you like to be uh, like right outside the window? Right outside the window, if I could. Brings would you me back into a tree? to when I was but a young cabin boy before I was old enough to drink, watching all my crewmates go to the bar and celebrate, oh. tussle, have fun, win bar brawls, win bets, perhaps spend some time with some companions uh, during their shore leave, and I just would peer in through the window. <laughs> Hoping to Requiem for a dream intensive <laughs> where you got your creepy stare from for sure. Is that a that's amazing? That's the good refresher. <laughs> Is that a good refresher? Yeah, yeah, that's definitely a refresher. Thank you, Kate, for that. For oh that my gift. god. <laughs> it's just gonna get weirder. <laughs> <laughs> I win. All right, I'm Captain Vance, and I've got ants in me pants. Before. It was so good. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, my God. Yes, exactly, Crunch. Oh, uh, that was brilliant. <laughs> uh, all right, well, as you look through the window, wow. like, like, like how, Cyrus? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh as god. You, as you through the window. <laughs> By the way, this needs to be a gif. This like movement no. will be able to use it later. So, so yeah, we're it. replacing your emote. Oh well. <laughs> nice well it left. Goes from Yes. Mm, yeah, to sorry, our <laughs> success. Thank you, Crosser. Uh, as you stare through the window, um <laughs> you see uh Naomi's at the center of the room. Um, uh, and, and she's, she's, she's got her, her fists raised and she is darting her, her gaze across the room because there are, uh, five surly looking bounty hunters, uh, pointing pistols at her. Oh, damn. I'd like to try to press on the window frame and see if I can't start lifting it a crack. Okay, so you might need to, to lower the that. adhesive a bit, so maybe you want to breathe heavily onto it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Hey, Chi Chi, thanks. Thank you, thank you 36. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so that's going to be, this is going to be sneaky stuff. Mm -hmm. A smuggler, I would yeah. say sneak. I would say maybe hide. This is a dip three. Yeah. All right. Throw in some dice. Yes, I want, please fail. I need someone to like really fail. One. I unfortunately got my three successes. Damn. Uh. <laughs> I just thought it'd be funny to see Lady Blackbird get eaten by a sky squid briefly yeah. and then like vomit it up later. Covered in sky squid juice. Oh, that's yeah. what would have happened if I had jumped off and not made it back. Like a squid would have plucked me out of midair and I would have to battle my way out of the squid. Yes. Yeah, didn't you want that? Damn it. That's and okay. like, Shove my hands into the squid's brain so that I can direct it to fly up so that I jump out. Yeah, you can still fall up. off the ship after. <laughs> yeah, you can go jump off the ship after that. Yeah, there's still tons of time. Is there? Uh, no, there's not. Jesus. Okay, so you are able to very, very slowly and quietly lift the window. What will you be doing with that? Jen, my trusty. Oh. Telescope. Amber spyglass, yeah. <laughs> to keep it propped open. Great. Uh, and uh, yeah, just be at the ready. Perfect. All right, we uh, we snap back to reality. Uh, oh, there goes gravity. Oh, there goes gravity. Jalen Jake. So we're we're swaggering into the room. Boy. I'm just gonna lean against the door frame. Oh, God. I'm just gonna go. What you got here, folks? Uh, um, hey, you mind your own business there. We saw her first. I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> Is this your first time? Clearly it isn't, boy. And you don't be taking a tone with me. Uh, this big, uh, burly dude with, like, really red hair. Super curly. Nice. Yeah. How uh, many are there? 
Uh, there are five that are armed uh, and pointing their pistols at Naomi, and then there are uh, four or five onlookers that are just like looking for entertainment. <laughs> this is very entertaining like, for them. Ooh. Let me all ask you a question. Yeah. Step forward, making sure that my hand is quite deliberately placed on the rapier that's now belted at my side. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of fun that we're having here, yeah? Got one tiny little bird. It's not enough to just scare her. But you want to make yourself something out of it, yeah? Ransom? Is that it? You think you might be able to get some sort of reward for it? It's just a little bird. It's not nothing. It's certainly not worth one of your lives, is it? I'm pretty sure we have any threats outnumbered. Yeah. But here's the difference. It's just one little bird. It's worth one little gold coin. Is that worth your life? Uh, who be threatening our lives? I don't see anyone here other than the little bird. Yes, I Cyrus. would like to have used this distraction since they just walked in the door to have climbed into the window and closed it again still on my uh, spyglass so that's still open. Should because be is what's going to happen. You're going to die. And then there's going to be at least two others who are going to die before any of you have a chance to do anything. So, either you leave now, or we find out just how right I am. Uh, he turns his uh, pistol at you. To you. You want you want to say that again, sunshine? Um, <clears throat> and I'm pointing. Just shoot at him, him. Just shoot him. Just fucking shoot him. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Just fucking just pop his head. That's, Is that Jake saying these things? Oh, okay. it's John telling Kate. Pop his head, Vance! Because <laughs> if you're not killing him right now, I'm killing him. Good, yep. then, like, make that step as your character. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna look at Vance, and I'm gonna mm -hmm. look back, and I'm gonna... <laughs> you Vance, might not how do have you seen feel that. seeing, seeing uh, that? Yeah. Feel, feel Good boy. Good. What do you admit? Fucking do it, man. <laughs> no, you want you still want me to kill him. You still don't want to kill him yourself. You try to get me to kill this random person that I just walked in. Fine. On. All right. I'm gonna take my fist, I'm gonna smash it on the hilt of my rapier so that it pops up and then just twist and letting it just spear him under his under his hand at the what? same time. Gonna smash my other hand down onto the t onto the flat of the blade so that it cuts right down across his collarbone, and then just stare at the others while I'm hoping that my companions show that they're willing to do anything that it takes to just end these fuckers. Now, do you want to leave this bounty to us, or do you want to meet All right, that? I'm fate? gonna need a roll to see if that succeeds, though. Yeah. <laughs> it was amazing. Uh, we will make it a diff. Can I? All right. Athletic, fencing, rapier. Uh, run, I don't think I'm going to be able to get. I you might start with your one base die. Yeah, athletic, fencing, rapier. Yeah. Uh, I might need some help. Yep. Oh. <laughs> What's Kale doing this whole time? Uh, Kale is about to do something, actually. Uh, hey. can, can I quickly narrate um, a brief moment good. that he one also plus recalls plus tags. time in a tavern? Yes, you oh. can. <laughs> I've been rolling one that fewer actually die than that I should have. Back with Noah. Noah? What's his name? Noah, yeah. Yeah. Um, it was it, right after they were like loudly drinking away all of their spoils. Like okay. a couple people tried to rough them up, uh, which is where uh, Kale used, uh, learned to use a very effective petty spell. Oh, okay. Um, so he just has like a brief recollection of that moment where they both did like a secret handshake and then they used the spell together. Really liked Noah. Um, <laughs> yeah, all guys do it. It's, it's, it's not weird. Yeah, it's, it's so not sweet. weird. Um, 
which I'm hoping will refresh my pool. Yeah, that uh, refreshes your pool. I'm going to uh, snap my fingers twice and just whisper the word shatter. Um, and I have a shatter spell, nice. so I'm going to attempt to break uh, one of the uh, one or two of the pistols that are aimed towards us while I draw my own. Okay, one pistol is uh, three diff, two pistols is four. Uh, can I make that a rolling? Can nope. I just see how many nope, I do? Damn it. Decide. Okay. Uh, John, what was your result? Uh, four successes. Ooh. Well done. So what you described works very well. Do you kill him? Yes. I. He seems he's threatening off. Naomi. Dead. Mm -hmm. Aww. Yeah. And he didn't listen to me, which is worse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go for one gun, dip three, and I'm going to aim mine regardless of its success or not. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Now, who yeah, else wants to die over a little bird? Uh, falls dead. Naomi, as soon as you uh, leap into action, she leaps into action uh, as okay. well. Uh, but Cyrus, what are you up to? Uh, I was about to uh, lay my hand on Naomi's shoulder, actually, to oh. get her, to remove the the person of interest, if I could. Uh, I would so like Naomi goes to step forward, but is uh, her, yeah. her yeah. Uh, and I'd like to use Secret of Warp Blood to teleport her just outside. I'm sorry. I forgot you had that. I'm sorry. Yeah. Why, Once why per session, I can teleport power. myself or someone I'm touching. Yeah. Right into I also, a you know what? Squid. It doesn't say how far I can teleport them, so fuck it. I'd like to teleport her all the way back to the ship. Just go to the, the expanse or whatever, whatever that place is I called. I will allow it because yeah. at least you're on the same world and it's there. Yeah. Like almost it, within sight. Yeah. And I feel like that's actually less helpful than if I teleported her outside, because then she could crash in and keep helping if we get into trouble. So. Oh, we're in trouble. Yep. I just killed a motherfucker. Yep. You and me, yeah. Jakey. So Jakey just killed a motherfucker. Uh, you teleported uh, Naomi. Naomi back to the ship, uh, and uh, Kale McGale uh, just succeeded in shattering a pistol. Yep. So now there are only three armed bounty hunters left one of them uh runs the fuck away <laughs> uh upon seeing one of his uh buddies be brutally killed it was pretty brutal now you should follow him if you uh don't want to meet that fate say so, yeah, i like looking down at the body that jakey murdered besides your target's gone And at that, they look around and they see that she's gone. Uh, and they look at Jake. And they look at Kale. Whoosh. I kind of revolve my revolvers. It's very cool. <laughs> trust me. All right, I trust you. Uh, and they they go to leave as well. Don't try following us tonight, Bort. You know we'll outgun you. Uh, they mutter some expletives. Oh. And uh, and continue on their way. I'm gonna put my foot on this dead jerk's chest, pull my sword out, and then inspect it for nicks. Hello. <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> oh, hey there. <laughs> Tree frog. Um, it it looks it looks perfect. As it bloody well should be. I'm gonna wipe it off on his shirt and then sheave it. Oh, oh. Pretty impressive sword plate. I'm gonna Jake. take one of the glasses that's sitting around half full. <laughs> Probably the cigarette butt in it. There is a cigarette butt in oh. it. <laughs> I want you to make, I want you to understand one thing, Kale. Yeah. There's nothing that I haven't already done to escape this marriage. Don't think that anything is beyond me. I give you a a very like anyway, I give you a salute. It's, it's not ironic though. I understand. I'm suspicious of this relationship. It seems to be between the two of them. 
I'm going to fetch my... <laughs> I'm going to kill Kale. <laughs> <laughs> Spyglass. That's fair. And, uh, That's a one-shot. That's it. You do what you want. Gesture for us to head back to the ship. Refueling should be done by now. It is indeed done by now. And as you leave That's uh, a couple murders, the cantina, more or less. <laughs> the fiddler in the corner just like really awkwardly starts to play again. Does he play like the last post or yeah. something? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to flip a coin towards the barkeep. Like a gold coin or whatever. Like a large denomination coin for the trouble. She was looking really angry and then immediately smiles broadly. Uh, the oh, come again. <laughs> <laughs> um, heading back to the ship? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're ready to get the hell off this murder rock Fantastic. that we found ourselves on. Murder rock. Murder rock. Murder rock. Uh, Fantastic. Anything yeah. else you'd like to do before you sail off into the darkness of space? I'm going to stand at the at the bow and just cast my eyes out over as if almost if as, as if I could see our destination even from here and what do you what do you what do you imagine when you look and think of your destination at first I thought that I was looking forward to seeing Uriah Flint again the idea that he's waiting perhaps the only man who I've ever been with who actually understood the world as it should be, as opposed to what it was. And now I wonder whether that's just a pattern, something that I've given him, a reassuring blanket that I've wrapped myself up in to make excuses for my escape. Am I doing this for love? Or am I doing this because I no longer wish to be a part of this world? Mm. I don't know. I may only know when I finally cast eyes on him. And maybe that's why I'm so desperate to see him first. So that I can tell whether we need to turn right away and flee. Or if I should cast myself into his arms. Anyone else got a monologue they want to rattle off? Sure as hell not going to top that. No, I mean, I'm going to gonna <laughs> come up beside her and uh, look out. Mother. <laughs> no one on our tail at this time. Well, that we would are be going if we to be were watching. In the stern. No, there's there's a little there's a little lookout on top. <sighs> Gonna have to have our eye on our backs from now on. We're known entities. You knew that the instant you left the Imperials. My ship was safe before you. Thanks for making it worth it. You've proven yourself in battle. I meant what I told your men. There's nothing I haven't already done. And at that shifty sideways glance Whoops. the owl continues off towards unknown worlds and lands and a pirate king who may or may not be welcomed that's it ah, i don't have good conclusions written that's okay I, I, I think we'll end the session there. That's yeah. the one. There we go. Oh, you jacked my line. Hey, it's RBG <laughs> Clinic's line steal, now. Steal, 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 steal. I'm going to wrap my arm around. Uh, Snargle. 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 Just you and me, Snargle. Just as I always wanted to get you. Oh, my flesh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Great nighttime story. There was everything. Romance, magic, murder. There's still time for John murder. to be eaten by a flying squid. Oh, so Hooray. Yay. Good job, folks. Thank you so much for facilitating this. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much for facilitating. 
So folks, that was the last of our four uh, between season, interseason, uh, intra season one shots. Um, Lady Blackbird, mm -hmm. which I mean, I think it was a blast. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. I really um, like the world that was created by this mm -hmm. by this game, um, by this system. Yeah. Well, they do a very good job of being evocative while leaving all of it open. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Like it's 16 pages and 10 of which is character descriptions and then character sheets. So they do so much with so little like mm -hmm. content that it's really like, yeah, I'm super excited by this system and hope to see more from it. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. And I think that like good society, um, it's one of those things that can run as a one shot. Um, but I think if you were looking to do it, three sessions could be the, the magic number. And you could also expand it even more to visit other worlds mm -hmm. and have different adventures. But I think to do the arc that's sort of laid out, mm -hmm. uh, I think three would, would work really nicely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Session I think the, I think the like advancement um, mechanics or things, something that we didn't get to experience a ton of today, that's but we thing. also weren't like, you know, I wasn't certainly going heavy into like trying to no. accumulate all my XP or whatever. Well, that's mm -hmm. it. Like when I was figuring out what to leave and what to keep sure. for the for the one shot purposes, I really agonized over the XP thing. I wasn't sure how quickly people would be earning them. Um, mm, fair. Um, and the answer is it's not that often, which means if you're playing over multiple sessions, having it in place is good. And then people can buy things maybe at the end of a session. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I find for one shots, I tend to just not bother if if I can choose between XP or just more dice. I'll take the power now mm -hmm. because there's it's not worth it to, for me to invest in a character unless it's necessary or mm -hmm. unless I know that I'm going to be playing the character more. So yeah. I like the fact that the system is kind of like, yeah, you could take two XP or you could take two dice. I don't care. Just mm -hmm. do what you think is right for you at this time. Yeah. Exactly, right? Like, I think, you know, if we were getting XP left, right, and center, if, if this were roll for shoes, right? Like, you'd want to you'd wanna go hard to have that 5 XP to get a new tag for a thing that you're going to use a lot more of, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, it's not, not all that often. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so this is a good time. How did you find it, Liz? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I I found it challenging, and that's not because of the mechanic. That's just because I'm not used to GMing games. So mm. I can I know that like the more I ran them, the more comfortable I would get. But it was just I just struggled with thinking on my feet and trying to think of new like obstacles and yeah, you were uh, great. how to make it how to make it seem challenging, but not mm. too like but not impossible. So. Yeah, like I found it, I found it difficult, but I'm really glad that that, like, I pushed myself mm -hmm. and look forward to trying it again sometime. It's all about yeah. pushing. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what's great about these little one shots, right? They're opportunities for us to do something completely different. Exactly. Um. Kate, okay, can you do the the face again? <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. So it was so unexpected. It was my favorite part. <laughs> yeah, well, I was I found the creepy stare on my character sheet unexpected. So I me too. I d I didn't even I mean, I wasn't looking at it, I guess, but like, yeah. like what does Cyrus look like that you have a creepy stare? Like I wonder. Why is it a tag that, that apparently you multiple times? It's so good. That's so good. And I think also Kate like Scott and I weird faces so often mm. that like most people have seen all of our weird faces but with you it's like more of a sometimes food so like we'd never seen you make that face before and it was or amazing. we were sitting next to each other so you never no i don't tend to make weird faces like that possible too actually yeah um yeah i mean this is our last as as has been noted in the chat this is our mm -hmm. last um rpg clinic uh sunday stream of the season mm -hmm. although I, well, actually, I guess I should say I assume there also won't be another uh, clinic hours in this current calendar year. Is that oh, right? yes. Christmas Eve? Is there? Oh, shit. Shall we go through the week? Yeah, let's do yeah. it. Um, I, 
I'll start. Uh, <laughs> I usually stream on Tuesday evenings, 6 p.m. Eastern. Uh, the reign of Emperor Scotimius I should go cray. It's now the medieval era. Uh, Y'all check the Discord because I have um, I have some some schedule changes, so we'll have to see how it how it goes down. Uh, but that's Tuesday. On Wednesday, I have been proven a scrub oh. twice. Oh. And we will see if I am proven a scrub again a third time. Uh, do we have an official challenge to throw out there? The one we talked about earlier today. Good to go. Yeah. Good All right. Good I heard this scrub played a lot of a certain game, but never finished a certain game. <gasps> that game? Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. He's like Ooh, most of the way there. done. He just never finished it. Scrub. <laughs> <laughs> it's the commitment that's really doing it for me. I haven't played on this save on? file for, if if I'm correct, at least a year. Yeah, you opened it up once and you played like an hour and you're like, nah. So, uh, gotta force <laughs> you somehow. I have defeated all four Divine Beasts, but I have not... Uh, I've gotten all the memories, but I have not actually defeated Ganon. So, Incredible. the scrub check will be, in these two hours, without, without actually opening this save file from the moment the challenge is issued until the point that we do it on stream, can I beat The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild? Fresh. <laughs> five minutes, what the hell are the controls? Yeah. Next five minutes, die a few times. Yep. And that's on and Wednesday. <laughs> Next hour, oh fuck guardians. <laughs> Breath of the Scrub. <laughs> oh. Scrub of know. the Wild? Mm. So that's corrupted great. save. If the, if it's a corrupted save, I'll be upset. But thankfully, the save is backed up on Nintendo servers, so we should be okay in that respect. Thanks, Nintendo. Yeah. Uh, Sorry. However, there is something else. On Thursday, we it is Christmas Eve. Uh, originally, the plan was to not stream. However, um, knowing that this is going to be an awkward Christmas Eve uh, for many, I will be creating characters. NPCs for the uh, for our upcoming Exalt Witch Academy uh, season. And that will be on Thursday. So there will be a open creation of these characters. Uh, so you'll get a chance to see how I would create the initial world surrounding these characters. Uh, there won't be any necessarily secret information uh, given out, but there will definitely be the idea of how can I fill out uh, an area for this. That's if the stream can take place. It should be able to, but that will be on Thursday. That's really exciting. Uh, do you have a sense of when during the day you would do it? John? It would be normal. It would be earlier than normal because Christmas Eve is Christmas yes. Eve for a lot of people. So it will probably take place around noon Eastern Standard Time. Bam! Cooking stream. We're really we're gonna cook in the afternoon, and we're gonna be watching. Put the laptop in the kitchen. If we we're allowed to watch you. Yeah. We, we yes, be. you're allowed to watch. Yay! <laughs> hey, I don't have to create a new Twitch user. I mean, oh. I would never. <laughs> I mean, N Elizabeth A. Eel. <laughs> and Eel. Anyway, uh, Friday? Uh, well, no punchy, no punchy on Friday. Right. Uh, but Good we answer. will do some uh, Boxing Day Drew Crew. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yep. Those oh, you can time. catch me on Creedy Chameleon's stream on Monday, tomorrow. Uh, I think we, we're we either going to be playing um, Golf With Your Friends or possibly Star Wars Squadrons. We'll see. Oh, my, oh God. my God. Those are very different games. Golf With Your Friends. <laughs> and I'm pretty... It's, it's, oh, God. And, uh, uh, it, does, it does look like that crosshair. It looks like you just straight up glued the pack to your skin, Liz. It's awesome. Next Sunday will not be a, a tabletop role-playing stream, but oh. who knows? Maybe we'll throw something together. Keep an eye on the Discord. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as and always. Of course, thank you to She Who Knows Ten Thousand Things and Entropy's Disciple. Entropy's Disciple. Alongside Real Brick Wall uh, for keeping us honest, keeping us sane. Uh, join us on the Discord for any more news. Thanks to everybody who showed up. And thanks to you, Liz, for running Lady Blackbird. Yeah, thank you all for being fantastic players. Oh, thank you. We're looking forward to bringing you guys Dragon uh, Exalt Switch. Whoa, Exalt Switch Academy. 
third on third. That's in two weeks. Two weeks yeah, today. Yeah, two session weeks zero. Am I wrong? Yeah. Pretty exciting. <laughs> and uh, before anyone asks, yes, of course, the voice of Snargle will be the voice of Gale. Oh. Obviously. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> <Just> no <kidding>. way. <laughs> nice. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.